when shopping with Jewelry Maker. You can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I'm Jenny Cleary, I'm going to be with you from now until, what time? Not five, is it? It's one. <laughs> one o'clock, it's a good start, isn't it? How are you? Please text me, and I haven't seen you for ages, since yesterday. 60777, how are you? What are Fridays for? It's Friday! It's actual Friday. I'm going to go to the fair tonight. Debbie Bolford, who's with me? Hello, good morning. Good Hello. morning, everyone. Good morning. When was the last time we were together? Ages, months. Too months long. Since, yes. Too long. We're going to have some fun today. Well, we are going to have some fun yeah. for about five million different reasons. Not actually five million, but quite a lot. Um, <laughs> first of all, let me introduce you to the new jump ring, everybody. That's happening today. You know you need them. I need these. They are so high end. They're really sparkly, aren't they? Oh. Really lovely. I love the colours, I love what you've done with them. I think they're gonna look great rode up on bracelets even if you can't do chain mail. Oh, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love them. We've also got diamonds, yes! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. You need them, you just do. And we've got gossip, and we've got <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing Labradorite. I think this is the most amazing Labradorite of the year so far. Look at those diamonds. They are sparkly. They are very, very sparkly. I love today already. They make me smile. They make you smile. Have a look. We're in good moods today, jewellery makers. We are. Look at that. Oh. Come on. It's so Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Where's Frodo? I love Frodo. Is it wrong that I, I do have a bit of a crush on Frodo? Slightly that, wrong, I think. Is it's it wrong, like, though? There's beautiful big eyes and the curly hair. <laughs> is it wrong? Is there a lot of wrongness? Probably, yeah. I think well, no, so. actually, I fancy the other one, Sam Gamgee, even more. I really fancy him. 
Oh, yeah, I love him. He's all chubby and lush. <laughs> he is, isn't he? I, li I like oh, chubby men. Dear. Now. I do. Big fan of these. Big fan. They're half-drilled pearls. I like, do you like the way I just stopped talking about Sarganji then and carried on? <laughs> now, these are half-drilled pearls. So they are stunning in stud earrings. But these ones are that gorgeous teardrop shape, which I love. Now, Debbie, you can put your head pin or your earring finding directly onto these and you won't see the drill hole at the bottom. So arguably if I'm doing a drop earring and they, these are the last element, they're going to look more professional. They are and I think you need to, to use um, a really, obviously sterling silver or silver plated or something because, it, 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 sorry, gold plated yeah. silver, sterling silver, because they are so special and I think they need to be put as a drop. If you do have any stud earrings, yes. you can use them as a stud, but I think these, because of the shape, would look better on a drop, just on a Agreed. single pin. Mm -hmm. And you literally use some, um, some glue just to glue that into the earring. I think I did a kit a week or so ago and, and did that. And they are so beautiful, but also very good for soutache. I didn't even think of that. Yes, they would be perfect Yeah, because you could soutache. just put a little loop on it and then sew them onto soutache, which would be really pretty, or even sew them around the bottom of a beautiful lace collar like Sheila makes, they'd be lovely because they'd move beautifully. They would, wouldn't mm, they? Stunning. They are absolutely breathtakingly mm. gorgeous. Oh, they are. They are my favourite thing ever. Now, can I just show you that when you see rings on pearls, you know what, rings on pearls are not a bad thing, but when you don't see them, you know that you generally pay more for them, more for the pearl. The pearl is considered more valuable, and those are the kinds of pearls that you will see in those high-end jewellers. Let's take a look at these four, and I can't see any rings on any of them. They are absolutely gorgeously perfect. Now, these could be really bridal. These could go in drop earrings. Like Debbie said, they could go in your soutache. Now, the thing is, we don't do a lot of pearls like this, do we? Pearls are so special to me. I've still got my pearl on that a lovely lady uh, sent to me in my... I have had it on even in the bath, which you can probably tell. <laughs> but look, so just encasing a single pearl. They're so special. June's birth gemstone as well. Very high end. I would get these because I don't have them. I've got them in the button style, and we are going to be bringing you the button style a little bit later, but I haven't got these. I think these are going to look very Chanel. I think you're right, actually. At the moment, don't forget, that's the biggest wedding fair at the NEC this weekend, and they've put some of the designs onto Facebook, and there's one tiara where they've put um, a beautiful sort of teardrop of, of wire and then a single pearl hanging in the middle so it moves on the tiara, oh. and that would look really pretty, wouldn't it? Really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous like that. I didn't know it was the biggest wedding fair. I should be going to that. Suze, OMG, I need them. You need them, Suze, they're gorgeous. Tanya, hello, Tanya. Morning, Jenny and Debbie. Jenny, loving your dress. Can't wait for the show. Thank you, thank you. That's lovely of you, my darling. It's Friday. Yeah! What are Fridays for? Are they for partying? Not anymore when we're, not for me, uh, Ollie and, D well, Dion's a bit still a party animal, uh, but me and Oliver are very sensible parents. No, you're sensible. Now, you get four beautiful freshwater pearls. Right, I'm going to guess, I think these are going to be, I don't know, 19.95, 16.95 at the lowest. Go on then, what? Nine ninety five. Get two. Get two. And you know what? I've been looking at a few bridely pieces. Pearls are so expensive. Very There's a gorgeous expensive. dress I was telling you where it goes all the way down the back like that, and then you've got rows of pearls. To add the rows of pearls is an extra thousand pounds. Oh, wow! Unbelievable. And that's like a couture sort of 
place in Cheltenham that was doing that. Margaret, you've got yours. Julia's got two. Gillian, you've got yours. Carol, Susan, Rosemary, Lorna, Stella, Catherine, Helen's got three. Definitely. Why have you dropped the case? You forgot it was an early bird. You aren't. I forgot you. I forgot all about you. Uh, Megan, sorry, you've got yours. Everybody will get that prize tag. This is, this is a, a, you've got to get them at that prize tag. You have to. Little tiny bit of jewellery glue. Put your head pin through these. It couldn't be easier to make a stud earring or a drop earring. You can put links on these to give these a little bit of movement. £7.95. Susu in Staffordshire. Tina, you've got yours. Jan, Elaine, Deborah. £7.95 for all four. The value, Debbie Bolford, is oh, unspeakable. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. I thought it was going to be at least. 20 pounds so I did too yeah. I looked and I thought right these have not got rings on them now I was filming the DVD as you know before this so I didn't get time to talk to Dion about prices but oh my goodness can you believe that that is fabulous I've seen somebody actually wear the most beautiful mohair um, zip cardigan that's absolutely stunning but on the zipper she just put one pearl oh, I love mohair makes yeah. me want to snuggle people I know on the zipper you know where you pull the zip just put Ooh. one little pearl which I How thought was really lovely. pretty actually Nice, nice so those touch. little embellishments, those little yeah, finishing make a difference, touches, don't they? they do. Seventy, seven ninety-five, not seventy ninety-five. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Most of you are are multi-buying these, and I don't blame you. Lorraine's got two. Uh, Jan's got two. Uh, Beth's got two. Patricia's got no. Anonymous in Kent's got two. Patricia's got one. Uh, Sylvia, you've got yours. Don't panic, Patricia. Uh, Sandy, you've got two. Absolutely stacks of you. Look how beautiful these are. And look, maybe you should get these valued, actually, because they don't have the rings on them. They are so pretty. I am, we are going to give you the button style later. Shall I show you the difference? Show you the difference. Yeah, I've got some buttons in eight, darling. I've got them. Here's a button. So you can see the difference between the shapes there. Look, that's more buttony. What would it be in a button? <laughs> You can see that though, can't you? Yeah, these are for studs, these are for drops. But no, actually, you could make a stud earring out of that, couldn't you? They're gorgeous. Keep texting us, we love it. And uh, Maureen is doing that. Hang on, I can't see. Sorry, Maureen. I had something in my eye this morning, so I couldn't see anything. Uh, Jenny, did you say Dion? Jenny, Debbie, Dion, day sorted. <laughs> love it, thanks, Maureen. <laughs> Dion and me are a little bit cheeky together, aren't we, Dion? We're a little bit cheeky. Loads of you on the phone lines at 7.95. There's stacks of brand new callers. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. It's not just these pearls that you're going to get, by the way. Luckily enough for you, you're going to get loads and loads of free goodies, a free tutorial DVD, a free step-by-step -step book, and a JM Hub magazine with your first order. So you get loads of support and loads and loads of advice. 7 95 only 55 of these left. It does look like these are... Hello, Ulia. You've got three. You always buy gorgeous things. Haven't seen... My gorgeous Cena in Greater London's got hers as well. Uh, you're asking about the new jump rings. They're coming up at half ten with the first kit. First kit, second kit. Cardboard box. What time do you... Do you remember that? <laughs> second kit. Do you remember that, Glenn? When we used to go raving? Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. <laughs> Paint the ceiling. Paint the ceiling. <laughs> Do you remember that one? What was the push the trolley? Oh, push the trolley. <laughs> no, I had to say it in my... Concentrating. Yeah, I love this one. <laughs> I wish someone would follow us around so that we could see what morons we look like when we're out. <laughs> <laughs> tune, tune, let's go for a dance. <laughs> 7 95, 42 chances. What do you used to do that makes you cringe now? Loads of things. Probably every, every part of, of me from this moment past has made me cringe. Do you ever think back and think, do you ever get, get it where you can't sleep because you're so embarrassed of yourself? Do you get, do you get that, Debbie? Oh, you look, don't. I think everybody's got something where they think, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. And they just think about it and think about it. Think, <laughs> I wish I could just erase that from my memory. <laughs> We've all oh, done it. I we? hate That's the worst feeling in the whole world. Michelle in County Durham. Hello, Michelle. Uh, Jenny, you are not alone. I fancy oh, Samwise too. I can't wait for the jump rings and the Labradorite. Shelley from Hartlepool. Thank you, Michelle. I really fancy Samwise Ganji. <laughs> 
No, he's lush. He was the kid in the Goonies. I fancied him then. <laughs> then I, he was in 24. I really fancied him then. Apart from he, when he inhaled that gas and turned into I'm a bit funny. Um, I love Samwise Ganji. Well, he went a bit funny, didn't he? Uh, Melanie says, hi, Jenny. Got, got mine. Yay! They're gorgeous. They're almost as gorgeous as Samwise Ganji. I think it's the lips I like. I'd give him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and a big hug. Now, I'm going to give to you some gorgeous black agate. I think black sparkly gemstones have to be in your collection. You're wearing red, perhaps? Maybe you're thinking to yourself, oh, those black diamonds. They're all black and sparkly. And maybe, you know what, maybe you're thinking, I'm not going to be able to afford those today, but I need some black and sparkly. Get these. They're fantastic. And because you've got all different sizes, all different sizes, you can make a lovely graduation. You make a gorgeous pair of earrings out of these, can't you? Look at the sparkle. Look at that incredible sparkle. I love them. Now, Debbie, you could incorporate these in with a bit of chain mail, couldn't you? Oh, gosh, yes, perfect for that. And with Downton Abbey coming back, obviously everybody's going back to that, that sort of look. You know, everyone's into the black sparkly um, looking jewellery. But I think they are a staple, definitely. They're definitely a staple in your stash that you should have at all times, really, because everybody looks for a black stone to think, oh, what can, what can go with this? Oh, black always goes with things, doesn't it? Always. You know what? It's, it's always a wonderful contrast. Mm -hmm. It can... It, if you've got a really bright fuchsia pink, it almost adds, adds a touch of class. Yes. And think about with that Christmas, that horrible thing, Christmas. Not very far How, away, is what it? What do you mean, that horrible oh. thing, Christmas? Christmas it is a creeps wonderful up on you, thing. doesn't it, without you knowing? Oh, I but love it. <laughs> you love Christmas. Don't I do get to nearer the time, but at the moment, no. Um, but everyone's going to want those with their little black dress. Just add some silver beads or some gold beads or rose gold, and you're sorted, aren't you, really? You can't go wrong. You never can go wrong. Isn't it gorgeous? Do you know, Beautiful. would it go with the Labradorite? Would oh, it go yeah. with my big Samwise Ganges? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might start getting a bit obsessed with Samwise Ganji. Look at that. Look at those. They're coming up at 10 of them. Do you know what? It looks like something a mermaid would take out of their hair, doesn't it? Like a mermaid's hair comb. What's the first person to say that to me? <laughs> you live in fantasy land, usually is how people say it to me. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that gorgeous trio. Now, these are coming to you in 12, 8 and 6 mil rounds. Macrame. Perfect. Soutache. Mm -hmm. Definitely using this. Definitely using this with chain mail. Putting these in. Just a beaded necklace, a bit of ladder weed, anything. Anything, because they're so versatile. SVG. C14, they're more than a stash builder. They're a bling builder. 9.95, only £3.32 per strand. You've got to get them. Such super value here today at Jewelry Maker. It's lovely to see you this morning. It's Freddy Fantastic Friday. What are you having for breakfast? 9.95 is the start. It's the start of the weekend. Perhaps you should start off with a boiled egg and work your way towards a full English by Sunday. SVG C14 is your item code. Uh, now, Emma of Norfolk says, Jenny, I was saving some money for the resin show on Sunday. There's a resin show? Who's doing that? Find out for me. I need that Labradorite. What time is it on? From Emma in Cambridge. Emma in Cambridge, 10 o'clock. Can we do them, please? Yes, Emma. We can. Emma, spend the weekend maybe selling things you don't need as much as the resin. <laughs> I don't know. How can you make money fast? I don't think you can, can you? Yeah, there's always a way. I'm is like Del Boy Trotter, I am. Come on, Rotters, one day we'll be millionaires. <laughs> 9.95. Quickly, go and buy a million scratch... Don't do that. Don't buy scratch cards. I cannot condone that. 
Thank you for the compliment of my ring. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Linda says, wow, what a gorgeous engagement ring, Jenny. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. From Linda in Hastings. Thank you, Linda. Let's not get too that. excited because he could dump me by then. I didn't know that. Oh, Debbie. I've only told everyone for the last two I'm told weeks. Me. I'm, I'm being here. I'm being here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was on Facebook and I like talking about it so much that everyone's like, oh, <laughs> not again. These are going bridal, shall we? <laughs> I've got, last night I went to see um, a lady about my wedding dress and I've got two pieces of cloth in my bag which you can get out, Dion, in August. I'll tell you about it. Yeah, obviously next year because we've had August this year. <laughs> what, next year? Oh. 9.95 is your price tag for all three. Deb is gone. She's out of here. She ain't sticking around. Gone to get a specs. Don't forget your specs, Debbie. Nine ninety-five oh. for these. Anonymous in Northamptonshire. Do for you, Pat. Do for you, Sarah. Felicity, Mary, uh, Sylvia. You've got yours. And Julie, you've got yours. I was going to get married in Ireland, right? This was happening. It was. I nearly booked it. But then, you know where I used to live on the farm, my lovely farm with Uli and Chris, the farmer. They said, Jenny, you're having it at the farm. So you're all coming to the farm. Yeah, that's what's happening. Woolstone Farm, beautiful place in the Cotswolds. In amongst the cow sheds. That'd be nice. It is a working farm. Don't go, don't go drunkenly stumbling across the cows because it wouldn't, you know, you'll get trampled on. 9.95. I have to give you a warning in particular, Dion. <laughs> Do not go for a walk around the farm. Yeah, you can wear heels. It's going to be in a marquee. SVG, see, I can't wait else, but there will also be a bouncy castle just so that we can sing the bouncy bouncy song. Ooh, such a good time. Bouncy. We're going to all do it and we'll all film it, all of us singing that song. My favourite song in the whole wide world. 9.95, still some of these available, so come on through for them. We're going to have such a great day with you today. Don't forget, in the first kit is the brand new, brand new jump rings. Wah! Wah! Second kit, not first, not first. And we've got that crazy Labradrite, crazy Labradrite. Today is sponsored by Donny Osmond. <laughs> that colour. Hello, you need me, you need me in your life. You cannot go on without me. I think I made that song up, that was quite a good one. <laughs> right, now, we're going to give you what... Why did you turn, because you went really brummy, did you turn it into an American ham? You've got a hanger, hanger, she went. Because, oh, we had a text from Florida, so she started, all oh, right, okay. All right, okay, now, do you know what? This is so great because you can hang it. You, it it's brilliant for on-the-go jewelry makers, jewelry makers that, need to take their pieces with them. I mean, how many jump rings are you going to fit in here? Absolutely loads. Now, you've got the large pockets at the bottom, and you've got four of those, because they're all the way there. You can't really see it, can you? And then you've got the smaller pockets, and you've got three, six, nine, 12, 15. Forgot what the next one was, it was 15. You've got 15 of the smaller pockets. I'm going to turn it around and show you that if you wanted to display, say, a necklace, like this gorgeous necklace here, you can just hook it onto the Velcro. There might be another reason for having these hooks at the back. But there you go, you see? Hooks on at the back with the Velcro. That, there might be another reason for that, because it might hold on to other things too. I don't know. But I think these are also great for storing your makeup in. They're wonderful for yeah, that. Good idea. In fact, I know for a fact that they're really wonderful for storing your makeup in. Uh, Debbie, things like this, so super portable. So if you were going and you were setting up, maybe like Mark does, he goes and he does his craft fairs and things like that, are they going to be handy for that? I think so. I mean, when I used to do craft fairs, I used to have like a grid wall thing, a tiny one, and that could hang on the back. And you could have yeah. all sorts of things there, findings if people ask you to change things or you want to make something while you're there or keep your business cards in. Oh, or business cards, yes. Really useful. 
and just useful at home. You know, in your in your bedroom when you've got all these jewellery and you don't want to do don't know what to do with it. Keep your rings and earrings in one side and hang your chains on the other inside your wardrobe door. How lovely to tidy. So much easier and not mm. scattering it everywhere, yeah. you know, and it's kind of safer in there because people don't look for it there. Um, what about if you're a seamstress? Yep. These, oh, this perfect. will be absolutely perfect. amazing. All your needles, bits of cotton and things. Yep. I think it's perfect for that. And actually that makes me think about macrame cords and things like that. Keep them really nice and neat and tidy, mm. keep all the colours. And even if you do scrapbooking, you can keep all your little charms and your papers and your bits and pieces together. Perfect mm. for scrapbook crafters. All the little bits of sequin waste That's and right. things, and all little sequins. This is perfect for that. Back in stock, we launched these in August. They were super popular while I was away on holiday. They were so popular. WTZX36 is your item code. It's your storage hanger. Wonderful. For keeping all those bits and bobs tidy. It doesn't just have to be jewellery making pieces, does it? Are you a crafter in general? Are you a seamstress? Do you like to knit? And so maybe you've got little buttons. Buttons. £7.95. I'm getting extra crafty lately. You'll like to know. £7.95. Oh, £8.6. I love my... I'm baking a lot. You know it's harvest this weekend. Is it? It's harvest. Have you sent in your boy with harvest festival things today, Dion? What do you mean, no? Did you forget? Well, ours was today. Maybe yours could be next week. It's harvest time at the moment. Don't forget to donate to your local food bank. I literally took everything out of our larder. Well, do you, do you not know? Oh, I suppose you don't know when you're harvesting. We start harvest at the end of August, September. They're city, they don't know. They're like, mm -mm. And we don't know when harvest is. You're harvest, never mind. They don't know. But anyway, yeah, send in. It's got to be non perishables now, but I've been making cakes, so I sent them to the old folk. Rhubarb and apple cakes from the rhubarb and apple from my garden. I am Ma Larkin. And uh, <laughs> send to your local food bank because there are so many people out there who can't feed their children. It makes me really sad. Please, just one tin of beans or tuna or something. 7.95 I literally literally took everything uh, Lee went shopping and I literally took it all to the food bag and it went mental 7.95 WTZ X 36 so very popular for this one actually do you know what lots of you are multi buying Sabine's got two Heather's got two Shirley's got two as well it's great it's a great Christmas present and if you've got teenagers that have got revolting rooms Mia tidies her room up and it takes like an hour and a half. Literally the next day it's gross again. I'm like, why do you do that? You know I'm not going to let you out the house until that room's tidy. <laughs> She's like, oh. Seven. It's a teenage thing, Debbie, is it? It is. Oh, yes. Oh, it a is. A boy's worse. Um, I remember really, that no. smell from my brother. Like, boys yeah. smell a certain way. Yeah. I know when they're teenagers. It's not nice. No, it's not nice. I hope my boy doesn't do that. <laughs> you smell a certain way. Do you, do you teenage brother? You know what I'm talking about, Dion. Walk into that room and go, Ugh! you are vile and I don't know why. Seven ninety five. <laughs> Oliver, you know. Oliver, if you've got a sister, you haven't, have you? Oh. Now. Now, now. You should know. From now. Oliver's not got one. I've got some gorgeous earring finds. Have you got a sister, Glenn? Have you? How many? Just one? One sister. Any brothers? One brother. Are you in the middle? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's the middle brother. Oh, you're the favourite middle brother. You're the favourite middle brother. No? The one that gets away with everything. No? No? My brother gets away with everything. He's literally golden to my mother. The boy. If I said something, she'd be like, don't be ridiculous. And if George said something, she'd go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, all the time. Oh, he's so hilarious, isn't he? Look at him, golden boy. Now, he is pretty, he is pretty golden, though. He doesn't do anything wrong. Have a look at these gorgeous earring findings. Actually, Fleur used these at the end of one of her, um, did you see when we were doing a designer inspiration? She used one of these at the end of um, some chain mail. Mm -hmm to um, differentiate the end she started at. Oh, right, yes, yes. So that if, it, if the phone goes or anything, she knows by picking it up from there, 
It's funny, isn't it? Because it's got their secure. So there, there, there are quite a few practical reasons for having these, but you know, you've got that extra security because they've got that hook fastening and you just undo them like that and then hook them back on. So if you've got some really, really special gemstones, then you want to keep them in your ears without the risk of falling out. Or if you've got the type of lobe where ears, earrings fall out. Some people do, don't they? I, maybe earrings fall out of my ears quite easily, I don't know. Um, now, have a look because you've got this lovely bar. And this is the bit that you'll see through the ear. Pretend my finger is an ear. Um, that's the lovely bit that you'll see. And then it goes straight in to that loop there. Now, it's not a closed loop. So you're going to get some movement there, which I like. You can add a jump ring to it if you want, but you don't have to. You could go straight in there with your threads or your findings, couldn't you? Now, you were guessing 10 of each pair, rose gold, silver, and classic gold. So 30, oh, hang on. So 20 of each pairs, is it? Oh, my, my information's wrong then, isn't it? Uh, 20 of each pair, 60 pairs in total. I did think that looks a little more like 30. Um, now, that can be used as well as um, your little fasteners for things like bracelets or necklaces. They have to be used for earring findings, do they? They're fabulous quality. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as does everything that you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. And you can get them in one or two ways. You can pick up the phone and dial 0800 644 655, or you can come through on the old Webulus or the W's.jurymaker.com. Remember your free goodies if this is your first order as well. RHG C19. You can make interchangeable earrings and you can sell them that's a brilliant idea with a few different gems on. Head pit. Yes, because they're not, I get it, yeah. Because they're not closed up, those loops. You can unhook whatever you've put on there. Lovely. You can sell one earring finding with three sets of, of gemstones or something. I love things like that. Mm. And people feel like they're getting better value right. for money then. They do. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you for that suggestion. RHG C39, 60 pairs of earrings. Now, this is quite bananas, everyone. 60 pairs for just £8.95. That is a great price tag. I mean, think how far these are going to go. And how much do you pay for 10 pairs of earrings in that big old craft store? I think we're very, very good prices here at Jewelry Maker, aren't think, we, Debbie? Yeah, I know. I, we forget. When I was off, actually, I, I said to Vicky the other day that we went round some jewellery stores and really started to get back to thinking how prices should be. Because I think yes. we, we forget when we come in here, we get a Indeed. bit blasé with them. And I was just amazed, amazed at the price of some, some earrings. Even if you look at other shopping mm. channels, Debbie, Absolutely. and you see other jewellery kits, because we specialise. Mm -hmm. We're not generic craft. We specialise in jewellery making we do tend to give you better deals because we buy in bigger bulks because that's our main thing that we sell, you mm -hmm. see. 8.95, phenomenal value, 60 pairs of earrings. And do think about our competitors, do. Do think about how much you're gonna pay in those other bead shops and craft shops. This is a wonderful price tag for so many pairs of earrings. Six, 60 pairs of earrings. Lots of you are multi-buying this. That's 15 pence per pair of earrings. Hyacinth. I love Hyacinth. Kay, you've got yours. Felicity, Christine, Chrissy, Julie, Dawn, Judith, Sandy, Sabine, Angela, uh, Geraldine, Tina, Jeanette, Susan, Anonymous in Yorkshire, Jane in Shropshire, Julie in Yorkshire, Gillian in Cheshire, Anne, Julia, a jewelry maker in Hertfordshire and Aberdeenshire, eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Dion, are you coming on my undo? Are you coming, Cass? Yes. I'm invited. Of course, you're invited because you're good. So you will do that thing where we're all misbehaving, and you'll be like, mm -mm, "Come on, <laughs> calm down." Eight ninety-five. Me and Dion together. Me and you together are going to be dangerous. No, you don't, Cass. There's nothing wild about you. She says, I do have a wild side. No, no. You want to get on this hen do, do you, Ollie? You look really cute in a long wig. I'm just imagining you as a girl. <laughs> You'd prefer to come on my hen do. Lee Stag is going to be boring. They'll all be, yeah, they'll all be sipping wine and discussing the world. <laughs> and then I'll be ringing him going, I've broken my leg. <laughs> He'll be like, stupid woman. I'm just, 
stub out this Cuban cigar and go and, and, go and rescue her. Uh, RHG <laughs> C39. <laughs> Debbie suggested with these, well, actually, somebody texted in um, about having interchangeable gemstones because, have a look. Because you've got that and it's not a closed hook, you could have, let's say, an eye pin for argument's sake uh, with some gemstones or a head pin with a loop on the end with some gemstones on and you had three different sets of those in pairs, you could just hook them on, hook them off, Debbie, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. You could have them on the front of your stool and say, which would you like, rose gold, silver or gold, and you can choose the earrings to go with it and have a price or sell more for that if you want to. You can have grades of prices depending what they buy. I think you it's could, a really you could good offer idea. them, couldn't you? Three, three different gemstones for this price, you know, etc. Right. I they, think when people start, it's kind of more fun to buy it like is, that. Actually, it is, actually. But I use those a lot for bales, for pendants, because a lot of pendants have the hole in the front, and you think, right, what am I going to put through? And some of the bales don't, aren't big enough to, to come down the gem to go into mm -hmm. the hole, where those you can hook through and you've got the little loop at the front you can then yes. put a little gemstone on which is really pretty actually it looks really professional as well because mm, it's all one does. flowing piece it does yeah i like that idea 8.95 lots of you have got this uh, now don't forget maybe our text message suggests suggestions for hendus <laughs> wild hendus or are we going to be good for the purpose of the camera we're going to be very very well behaved no we're not What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Someone, let's do it quite far in advance because I'm definitely going to break a bone because that always happens. Like I wanted to go riding the, of the day of the wedding, but apparently, no, I'm not allowed because I am the, and on my f best friend Belinda, she got married and I was her bridesmaid. They literally made me stay in one room the night before. I wasn't allowed to do anything because they knew, no, if you know me, you know that the day before something big is going to happen, a tragedy will happen to me. So they put me in Belinda's house, keep her in a room, and then she, well, they let me out, obviously, when we went to the wedding. <laughs> I get treated like a baby everywhere I go. It's so annoying. <laughs> now, we're gonna go to the first kit of the day. Have a look. It's very elegant, this kit. It's very Debbie Bulford. Now, I'm going to give you... Do you love the autumn? I love it. This kit's called the Autumn Leaves. I don't think it's particularly autumn leafy, I've got to say, but I do love an autumn leaf all the same. Have a look. It doesn't matter what the name is. It's about the gorgeous gemstones. Have a look at this colour. One of my favourites. Now, Mark Smith and I... A little bit of gossip for you. Mark Smith and I have started this. How do you think this is going to end? Uh, Mark Smith and I <laughs> started, uh, recorded a DVD this morning. He did a beautiful necklace and he had some Amazonite and rose uh, gold with it and it looked absolutely beautiful. And you're guessing the Amazonite here. And then look at this. Do you remember Liz Welsh, who's next door, by the way, when she did that incredible pendant the other, was it yesterday, day before yesterday, with friendly plastic? Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. This is the same cabochon. Now, have a look, because you've also got, now this is a great green. What a Christmas tree green. I'm gonna just take my board away. Look at that. I think that's the deepest green we've got. Look, let me take it down. Can you see that it's green, not black? That's incredible. I love that color. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it goes so well with the rose gold. Now, you wait to see what Debbie's made. You wait, it's fabulous. Now, I'm also gonna give you, and these are so Debbie Bulford. Huge, long rectangles. I haven't seen these this season yet. Aren't they fantastic? Have you seen these this season yet? I had some very similar in a kit a week or so ago, but I love them. I just, just think they're just so dramatic. Make a real statement. They are so chunky, mm, so big. You only need one, really, in a yeah, piece you can do. get away with, can't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that you've got. And you do get a lot in this kit. You've got your teardrop pendant as well. I think this is a bit Art Nouveau, isn't it, actually? Now, I'm also going to give you... It doesn't have a drill hole, it's a cab. I called it a pendant, didn't I? Sorry, Oliver, you're right to pick me up on that. 
gosh. Us, us afternoon show presenters. <laughs> Calling a cab a pendant. They don't know, don't know their spades from their forks. Now, have a look. Don't know your A from your straw. Yesterday I fell in a hay bale and came to work literally covered like worms all garbage. Now, so that's what all that hay, in, hay is in the downstairs toilet? No. Look, boys or garbage was scary. Who, who thought that was a good idea? Here you go, this will entertain the children. Ah! Look, it's like Punch and Judy. Why? It's scary. I'm scared of Punch and Judy still now. And Punch and Judy, hello, isn't that domestic violence? Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure sitting a child in front of Punch and Judy and watching Punch beat Judy with a baton isn't a good example no, of anything, actually. Pretty, pretty sure. Now, however, when Judy starts battering, but no, I'm joking. Uh, now, <laughs> have a look at these. They are gorgeous head pins in that sort of flower look. Now, I've got a wonderful long rectangle toggle clasp forgot the word then i wasn't trying to be dramatic with my words i just forgot toggle clasp these are going to go really well with the rectangular agates aren't they now i've got something else a little bit wonderful to show you because those were those were your findings you've also got a meter chain and all of the all of the usual suspects here they all are but you're getting antique bronze wire now antique bronze wire and the rose gold go together beautifully. You're gonna get your beading thread, your elastic and your monofilament as well. The gemstones, the wire, the beading materials, the findings, you've got so much with this kit. Now, your black striped agate rectangles are 42 by 20 uh, and those are the puffy rectangles. You have got your green Quart oh, they're quart oh no, those little dark qu uh, quartzites, those deep, deep, deep green, those are four mil. And your green aventurine cabochon is 25 by 18, and your puffy coins in the green aventurine are 10 millimeters. IVG C25 should be paying over 45 pounds for this kit, and it is worth it. There's the little gorgeous cabochon there as well. Now, Dion, that is a very low price tag. 24.95 you've got over 20 pounds saving please go out there and check out our competitors please go out there and look at the prices you're paying and are you getting genuine gemstones because with jewelry maker the answer is yes you are getting genuine gemstones let's have a look at debbie's wonderful jewelry we're going to saunter over we're going to take our tea obviously and we're going to saunter over to that gorgeous debbie bolford and have a look at the collection i love this green isn't it gorgeous really love lovely. it really, really brought lovely. these gemstones to life there debbie look at that and you've used a cheeky bit of green wire in there. I love it. Yeah. Just well, yes, I did have it with my kit actually. You I had think it, I think it was an upsell. I think it was an extra. An extra. Yeah. But it was in my kit, so just a little bit. Now you've used some of those little jump rings as well to show us. Only to show that, that if you're going to put a pendant onto a necklace, then think about the way you hang it, because a lot of people just put a jump ring and a piece of cord and that's it. But think about the way that you hang your pendant. Draw the eyes to the pendant. So I've just used one or two of the little jump rings just to do um, a half Byzantine link, just to make it look a bit different. I absolutely love this with that chartreuse wire as well. It looks it's beautiful, really pretty, the gizmo coiling, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous very Christmassy those berries little yep, berries absolutely love the earrings there as well using those little spaces that you've got then you've got a gorgeous bracelet now we've got almost two collections here because you've got these wonderful green collection and then we're going we're going a little bit jazz hmm. going I love a little that bit jazz. I love that I love that sort of necklace especially in the winter when you've got a big chunky jumper on and I'll probably make it longer than that, actually. But um, a nice big chunky jumper and, and a long necklace like that would be really that. lovely. I think that's fantastic. 
I have to try that on. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, Debbie, I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah. Your wire work. I, I'm that not, is wonderful. No, you always I'm, say this, I'm no wire work expert. I'm not. It's beautiful. Well, it took me a while to do it, but I just wanted to use one stone. I love it, Debbie. I uh, just wanted to use one stone and just to pop it into a bangle, but um, I'm sure that Laura or Gemma would make a far better job than me. But anyway, there you go. Um, but I think that the, the findings, think about using them in a different way, because I've used the extender hook. I've just glued it into the bottom of that, that long black necklace. There, I've just glued oh. that into the top of it and used it as the bail. So think about the findings that. in a different way. Think about how can I use these? I don't, don't have to use Sorry, them as Glenn. an extender chain. I don't have to use them as earrings. I use them as something else. Actually, it's nice to have a different a different play yeah, on things absolutely. because it, it does keep things fresh and it, it also gives a very that gives a very professional finish. Just another use for them, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Because I'm sure everybody's got loads of those left over from their kits, the extender chains that they haven't used. They think, well, how else can I, can I use these? Well, yeah, just a different way. Don't leave them redundant. Definitely use them. No. Which piece are you going to show us how to just make? Just to do the bottom of um, this necklace here. Um, I, I love used that. I used a knitting needle actually to make the, the big coil because I only had the standard gizmo um, uh, mandrels. So I use it about a seven mil um, uh, knitting needle and just okay. wound the, the, the coil around there. So I've just made a smaller one just for the demo. Not quite as big, but you'll see what I mean. So all I've done is I've taken the wire, and for anyone who hasn't seen a gizmo before, I actually don't use the, the clamp, I just use the, the normal mandrel. And I think we've got some of these still on the website, I'm not sure. Um, and you just wind the, the wire around. Thank there you. Get yourself <laughs> sorted. Uh, Is that I, Mark Smith? He's been messing I know, with the mouth. I know. Not at all. Um, so you literally get hold of your uh, mandrel. And mandrel. I, just, I just do it just in my hands. I don't actually use the clamp. You don't worry about the clamp, do you? Because no. sometimes it's a faff and a fiddle. Yeah, and I just literally wind it around the mandrel. And you can do this around um, a knitting needle or what have you. And there's your coil. And it's nice and neat and tidy. And then take that off when it's the length that you need. So that's what I've done for the bracelet and for this necklace. So uh, if I take that off for a minute, you can see it slides off really easily. Don't, don't do it too tight, otherwise it gets stuck on the mandrel, then you've got a problem. So there is your, your wire. Now once you've got that to the length that you require, you can then put whatever colour you want on top. If you have rubies or, or garnets, you could Ooh. use that lovely burgundy or red mm. wire or green or whatever you want to use with it. And I've just gizmoed the um, green, which I know is coming up shortly, the green wire, which I had in my kit so there's an extra. And I love that chartreuse. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I used the very fine um, bronze wire that you get in your kit, and I just gizmoed that together, so you've got a bit of a hint of both colours. Caron then, always uses this wire. Caron really? Bronze. I think every other, every time she comes it's in, she's got at least one piece with this in. And I love it. I love that lady. She's properly hilarious. Oh, she's lovely, isn't she? I her love mum's her. lovely too. She is. Yeah, she's a real scream. Yeah, lovely. Oh, nice she's couple. a good one, that one. So once you've made your um, coil for the outside, I then gizmoed the two together. There's brown and the green in there, which takes the, the, the brightness off the green a little bit. And I just coiled it around the outside. Now, I did use a couple of the rings to um, make a bail. So have a look out for the kits coming up because they have got these lovely bronze rings. But you could just use um, the earring findings, as we were talking earlier. You could use that as a finding if you want mm -hmm. to. Now, the cabochon obviously hasn't got a hole in it. So you could soutache around this. You could put this on a backing fabric and sew around. Um, or you can, as I did, I just, just coiled a piece of, um, of the head pin and just stuck it on the back and made that into a pendant. And that's it. What kind of glue did you use, Debbie? Just super glue. Super glue? Just, just super glue. Resin I'm not allowed to use gel. super glue. I'm not allowed near super glue, as you can probably imagine, because <laughs> I am treated like a six-year-old by everyone. Oh, you are funny. <laughs> it was just a gel super glue. You get a, not the, um, the liquid. You get one that's like a gel, which is, takes a I while know, yeah. to, um, to adhere. But then I just stuck that onto the back of the, the cabochon, and that was it. That was then hung from the, the pendant. Just makes it more usable, I think, for some people making jewellery. And then you've got the whole beauty of the pendant you itself have, you without have. It hangs by taking itself. away anything, Absolutely. which is lovely. Now I'm just going to turn around the necklace so that you can see the wonderful wire work that Debbie 
has actually done in this. Just, I mean, that is, I love your, your rosary linking is gorgeous. I love oh, rosary linking. I do, I just think it makes it look a little bit more special. And if you do some little coils and make, make the um, necklace look a little bit different, it looks more handmade, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, definitely. it does. Yeah. Uh, now, we were gonna, I wonder whether you could possibly show us how the bale was made on the black gemstones, if you have any to um, hand. Otherwise, I can get mine if you don't, because yeah, people so are asking. I've got one to haven't actually let me have a look was it come off i've just it's just come off from hanging okay. it's some more glue here we go oh there you go now you can show us how to put it back on <laughs> that's very good isn't it now it was completely I secure did that on purpose. before jenny touched it so sorry don't be silly don't be silly um what i would have done at home if it was Ollie me just said that proves why she's not allowed to do anything well anyway. yeah i know what I would do if I was at home, I would use some, um, what they call silly putty, which, which is like no nails. It goes really, really hard, which I didn't have at home, and actually sink it into it. So it's almost like putting um, uh, polyfiller into a hole and actually sinking that in. So you need something to secure it in. I have to admit, I did do this very late last night. Um, I, so that well, to well, you would have got away something. with it if well, it hadn't been for I me, know, I know. stupid Jenny no, Cleary, not at all, no, ruins not at all. everything. And that needs to be hooked on beforehand, but if you put some silly putty or something on the inside and sink it in and leave it for about 24 hours, and I promise you it'll be as hard as nails. I've got one at home, I've done that with months ago, and I wear and wear and wear it, and it's a big... Um, labradorite cabochon and it, it's really heavy and it doesn't come off like those gorgeous labradorites that we're going to give yeah, you later yeah. oh yeah oh Stunning. gorgeous now let's have a look again at this wonderful bracelet and then I'm going to give you your chartreuse wire your autumn leaves kit IVG <laughs> C25 this is why you should always request Vicky Carr. Why is that? Oh, she no. doesn't break stuff. No, don't be silly. Well, if I'd have put it in silly putty, it would have been fine. But I was doing it late last night. It was so me, not you. Late it was night. me. Your chartreuse, well, I love this. So, like I said, a big favourite of the wonderful Caron Crawford. Now, Caron, in fact, I'm going to go and get something. Stay there, because look what she did the other day. I'll be back in a minute. You're going to go crazy for this. It's absolutely wonderfully amazing. And I've got this. Can you see me? Oh, don't show me a big bottom. No. <laughs> oh, you are funny. Have a look. Can you see? Look at that. <gasps> Isn't it amazing? That fab. It's amazing. I nearly died when I saw it. Isn't that fabulous? Oh. <gasps> and look, look the chartreuse wire is here. And then she's twisted. She's so She clever. twisted um, chartreuse and uh, the aqua blue together. And then after she twisted it, she put it, um, she did um, Lazy Daisy with it. Unbelievable. The woman is crazy. Oh, wow. Look at it. Oh, she's amazing. Lush. Oh, Karen, you're amazing. And Gemma Crow. So all the greats love this. Gemma Crow <laughs> here. All the greats. Debbie Bulford. Caron Crawford, Gemma Crow, here in a gizmo coil. This is very Gemma Crow, isn't it? You can imagine her dancing to electro pop <laughs> <laughs> in a Gloucester, her. in a Gloucester dodgy nightclub. Have a look, <laughs> Rachel Norris. Like I said, all the greats, all the greats use this chartreuse wire because it's it can be classic it can be funky electro pop it can be an orchid you know it, it's got that it's just a wonderful wonderful it wonderful is. color it's a lovely background actually it's a lovely spring color isn't it it's beautiful mm. really yes nice. it is a very spring like color isn't it? it's very fresh mm. very pretty now you have got a hundred meters now this 0 0.4 you can twist together and do like Karen Crawford did and actually put it around the lazy daisy make um Viking weave is the word I'm missing in my vocabulary. Make Viking weave out of it. It is just wonderful for gizmoing, wonderful for wire wrapping. At 14 95 you're getting extreme value. 100 metres, but Dion's taking the price tag down, making this even more affordable. Can you believe that you are getting 100 metres of this wonderful colour for just 8 95 Now, like I said, all the grapes use it. Have a look at how Debbie's used it. Now, actually, this gives it a very different look entirely because when you put it with the antique bronze, you've got it's it's suddenly much classier. Yes, I know.
and it does it tones it down a little bit but I don't think it needs to be toned down I think it's such a lovely color it's nature's backdrop isn't it green and brown oh, yeah. go with every single thing I um, absolutely love this combination it's, it's very sort of woods out in the mm. woods it's very Sam Gamgee to bring it back <laughs> Oh dear. It? He's going to crop up quite often, I can see. I wish he would crop up quite often. <laughs> I wish he'd come in here and, uh, and see us. That's Sam Gamge. I'm going to go home and watch Lord of the Rings later. <laughs> uh, HUJ M61 895. Unbelievable value that you've got a hundred blooming meters 0.4 debbie <laughs> great for gizmo coiling great for wire wrapping it's wonderful for absolutely. weaving absolutely and wonderful if you're going to use the intricate designs i'm sure that all these talented uh, guest designers will say for doing the intricate designs for doing the uh, the leaves or just for buying things together you need something and this is a beautiful colored wire it really is alison uses now please remember that we even give you that e-coating now if you wanted to use your swellagen or your verdigris you can use it on this, but use the primer, or you've got to buff it down. That's it, right. Because that e-coating is a real coat of armour, that, it? Is, isn't it? but if anyone's making things for Christmas, you can start to do your, your sort of holly leaves <gasps> and your berries and things like that. So start to do your wire work ready. Yes. Mm. You know I'm excited I'm about <laughs> Christmas. And it's Halloween in a couple of weeks. Yes, yes I know. I I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, witches nose green. That's what it is. <laughs> it could be, couldn't it? We could make lots of Halloweeny witches. 8.95, great price, very low in stock as you can see now. We started with considerably more than uh, what you're seeing here and I am getting lots of multi buyers. And don't forget that when we do designer inspirations in the afternoon, all of the designers actually choose the ingredients list. So yes, they, so do in the they afternoon. choose yep. what they want. Why haven't you been on my afternoon show? Where have you been? I haven't been here. I've I been, must it's been a while. You. I, am, I am on in a week or so. With me? I don't know. I hope so. Uh, 8.95. <laughs> I must start making more demands around this place. 8.95. Now it's time for us to go and check out your designs because you know what? Oh, it's four minutes to off. Hello, welcome back. Time to check out what you've been up to. Yes, I <gasps> love this. No, oh, I, I do love, love this. that. This it's is a bit Vikingy, isn't it? Have you been watching Vikings? No. Oh, you should. Hot Vikings. Yes. <laughs> Hot Vikings it. and um, Hot Flushes don't go together. <laughs> and I like. That's what you need. And Labradorite. Oh dear. I'm going to fan um, you. Thank you. Four seven one. You make me feel very hot, Jane. Thank you very much. Oh, that's rather I nice. have that effect on people, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Hi, all you terrific, um, gemtastic people at oh. JM. Every time I get one of your designs on the wall of fame, I'm so excited I could squeal. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm cold enough now, Jenny. I feel as like I'm in a wind tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Beyonce. Look at Thank you. <laughs> Are you single ladies? Oh, the single ladies. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for showing. There's nothing Everybody's worse work. than being boy. Oh, I'm freezing. There you go. You are, actually. Oh, that's lovely. I'm always cold. Uh, thank you for showing everybody's work. It's a real boost um, if your design is shown and inspiration seeing other people's like on the um, take on the gemstones. Anyhow, this is my wall of fame for this week. It's a bracelet and necklace ensemble made with suede and clear quartz gemstones, all from JM, for the happy, for the hippie in us all, it Ooh, says. Yeah. Uh, good luck to all entries and keep the gem treasures coming. And that is from... Kirsty in uh, Rosendale. Kirsty, that's oh, lovely. Yeah, I see. Kirsty, gorgeous. We, oh, we're all a bit hippified, really, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. I'm a secret hippie. Number four <laughs> seven four is from Ruth Connor of Newcastle. She says, "This is a rainbow made using metallic rainbow agate. Oh, I love that metallic rainbow agate. Oh, yeah. And silver plated findings I purchased recently from jewelry maker. Think about these is." They're so wearable. And if you put them, oh, I love how you've put them ready to sell. I really like that. Uh, I was pleased that such simple earrings look so good because of the quality of the gemstones and findings. From Ruth in uh, Newcastle. Thank you so much, Ruth. You're number 474, and they're gorgeous. Good luck uh, with the sell. And this is number 472, and this is from uh, Wendy from Hyde. I thought I would send in this week uh, a couple of pendants made from the onyx cabochons. I only received them on Monday. Um, 
but um, couldn't wait uh, to try out my ideas. A cute little elephant and fairy stroke angel sat on the moon, loving the fun and great <laughs> offers. Everything crossed for a win. Good luck to all from Wendy in Hyde. That is really cute. I love it. The fairy sat really on the sweet. moon is very really um, sweet. Jim Henson, isn't yeah. it? Is that what his name is? The guy that does Kermit? Yeah. It's lovely. I love that. Oh, the elephant. Love that. I love it. It's the legs I like. <laughs> I got puppet legs. I love it. Have a look at this uh, for photography. Look at that. Amazing. Love that. This looks like it's in a boutique. Doesn't it just? And Kate Moss is the model. You know, it's one of those. 475. Denise McElroy. Wow. You are amazing. Look, that's just the shadow. Isn't it incredible? Incredible, Denise. Where are you from? Where's BD13? I don't know. Don't know. Thornton. Thornton. Uh, she's put her phone number here. Maybe I'll call her while we're live. Uh, please find it. It's always dangerous to put your phone number when I'm around. Uh, <laughs> please find it at my Wall of Fame entry for this week. It's a wire crochet ring with a faux prong set labradorite gemstone. Oh, it's gorgeous. So you faux prong set it, what made it look like it's prong set, but it's actually mm, not. Use wire rather than a proper setting. Oh. Um, I love it and I hope you, I love, Denise, this is amazing. It's brilliant. We do love it. Thank you. That's beautiful. Number 475, Debbie. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, this is number <gasps> 473. It's Ooh, a lovely, lovely. colour. This is from a genie from Bolton. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a sort of bib necklace using orange marquee shell, uh, coral rounds and copper coated hematite barrels and chain all from JM. The beads are threaded onto a memory wire necklace also from JM. I love the ideas the designers share and I'm always being inspired to have a go at something new. I'm trying wire crochet at the moment with opal chips. Mm -hmm. It's great watching the shows and the presenters are, are lovely, like having friends around for coffee. Keep up the good work from Jeannie in Bolton. That's lovely. Aww, oh, lovely Jeannie. message. That's really nice. It's gorgeous. I, I think that's fabulous. Very Me pretty. Too. Very pretty. You know what else is gorgeous? That, that Labradorite. <gasps> yes. Oh. oh, yes. Look at oh, that. Oh, you need it. Oh. oh. It's so much more beautiful than it, it appears here as well, which is the great thing. It's coming up for you after this. Join resident designer Sheila for our bridal headwear for beginners DVD. Sheila will guide you through an array of beautiful bridal designs including a pearl tiara, the star hair comb, a twisted spiral tiara and much more. This DVD is packed full of inspiration and helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker are having a web exclusive sale on 95 sterling silver. Head over to our website now and take advantage of up to 75% off. All stock must go, but be quick because if you miss it, you'll miss out. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. 
Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Okay, you need to be on the phone now. We only have a small quantity of these and I think they're going to sell out really quickly. Utterly beautiful, outstanding labradorescence that you're getting from this strand. Completely ethereal, a total fantasy strand. Have a look at these. Could they be any more Lord of the Rings? Look at that, incredible. It's like a big storm, huge fireworks or lightning bolts going off in the background. Each piece giving us pure drama. Look at that, every piece as dramatic and as different and individual as the next. Meaning each piece is gonna give you a new joy every time you look at it. Wow, every angle, every angle. This is really, have you ever seen Amalite? It's almost as phenomenal as Amalite. No, it is as phenomenal as Amalite, Amalite I've just decided. Absolutely powerful. Amazing. A complete, they're enchanted, aren't they? I think these are beyond words. There are so many of you on the phone. Now, Dion, I know this is limited. How many exactly am I going to be able to offer? There's lots of people on the phone lines. We don't see, we don't see strands like this. This is the first strand of its kind that has ever fallen into my hands. It is arguably the best strand of lab it actually, yes. Actually, it's the best strand of Labradorite I have ever, ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. I once remember the large cabochons. I think these have got more enchantment to them. I think these have more magic. These look gilded. They look, there's something so magical and so full of fantasy. You can almost imagine wishing upon these. That's how magical they look. Don't you, do you have, and, and I get that sometimes when people say, you know, things are lucky, you can make a wish upon something, wishing on a star. Look at this. Now, it does, I know that there are so many different techniques that you can actually imply with this gemstone strand, but for me, the most important thing right now is getting them. I've got so much time to think about what I'm going to do with them when I get them, but they are limited, and I do think that they will sell out. Mm, they are gorgeous, quarter of the stock already gone, and we haven't even given you the price tag. UWYY30 is your item code. These are all the way to 38 by 20. They're only 17.95. You've got to get two. These are absolute once in a lifetime Labradorites, Debbie. Don't you think? I, think they're I had some of the um, cabochons, and they are beautiful. They're absolutely stunning, but they are more of a wearable size. 
and I think they're probably more of a saleable size if you want to put two or three into a piece of jewellery. The cabochons were stunning, but they were so large that they're good for pendants and for an, uh, one single feature piece. These I could see having a centre point and another couple on a necklace, and then you've got one for a bracelet. You could even make a stunning, fabulous statement ring with them. You know, you could uh -huh. go bananas. So you've got enough on there to make a whole set of jewellery. And then some, I think. Mm. Look at that, the wonderful fluidity. It's got a silky labradorescence to it, which you know means quality. Alex says, hi, Jenna Deb. Hi, Alex, my lovely Gloucestershireian. Uh, lovely to have Lady B back. I've bought that Labradorite twice already in the last few weeks. It's amazing. Amaze bogs. It is amaze bogs and balls, yes. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is totally beautiful joanne says wow 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 those are beautiful and they are mine all oh, mine <laughs> look you have to have them to all of our fellow guest designers that are watching you have to have these <laughs> and you know what debbie bolford and i are saying you need them one two three four five six seven eight nine Nine on the strand, that only is 17 pounds and 95 pence. One is gonna make an incredible, it could almost be, you could do this in a very Victorian way as well, couldn't you? You could actually, yes. Oh, I love that, so powerful. My gorgeous Alex says, I made a necklace with a whole strand. I've got commissions off the back of that and I had to buy two more. I've bought again now, nobody will regret buying this. I agree. And you've got that 30 day money back guarantee. The only regret is gonna come from you not ordering this because you have 30 days to send it back, that's yours. But once it's gone, the opportunity has been taken away. You know as I do, that when you get strands like this, they're very few and far between. Mm. And once they're gone, it takes us months and months and months to get things like this it back does. into. It does, and if you look at the fashions coming through now, I noticed um, over the weekend, went into a shop and there's a lot of oversized men's jackets for trouser suits for women, which I love. Yeah, The old too. sort of crombie looking coats. Very 80s, yeah. Yeah. So the brooches will come back. So that is a brooch on an evening dinner suit. Because a lot of a lot of the uh, Christmas stuff will be evening dinner suits for ladies with long Very flowing dynasty. coats. Very dynasty. Yeah. So Ooh. the brooches will be the thing. Without I a doubt. I love this. Apparently Scott had that very look on today. Oh really? Look, yeah. <laughs> look at this, Alex. Oh. I am so proud of everyone who's bought two of these. Well done. Uh, I have got Karen, John, Belinda. Uh, now, Emma's texting us in. Jenny, I've bought that Labradorite before. I have sold four pendants from it. So far, 30 to 40 pounds each. I had to buy it again today. Emma, get two. Oh my gosh. We'll be millionaires. Amazing. If this was in that crafty store, they would be loads each. Now, you're, I'm giving you the opportunity to buy a whole strand. How many did I say were on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you know what? What's that per pendant? It's so worth it, Emma, isn't it? It's so worth it. How, so what's 40 times nine? I should know this. It's four times nine. Add a zero. <laughs> oh, good. You're as... I've never met anyone as stupid as me. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I nice, thought Glenn it? was clever, you see, so I've always felt beneath him. But now I'm totally on a par with you. It's all fine. 36, Jenny. How, what is it? 36. So 360 pounds from one strand, potentially. Minus 17.95, what's the profit, please? £342.05 Emma's made from this strand, potentially, if she sold them all at £40 each. Emma, you are going to be definitely on a roll for Christmas. Linda, absolutely fabulous. I can't wait for mine to come. Congrats on your engagement. I love you, Rick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh. 17.95, right, we are approaching a limited stock of those now. You're gonna have to be very quick if you want it. I don't want anyone missing out. Love it. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. Can I have one of those? 
Cass is bringing me something lovely. Thank you, Cass. So we've only got we've got a very limited quantity of that. You have to check out your basket. Cass smells delightful. You smell lovely. Come here so I can sniff you again. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. When somebody wafts past you. Maureen says, that guy behind the camera, uh, cool, is the new... Is he, is he new to our family? Uh, come, come here, Glenn. Well, Glenn, we've stolen from across the pond. They're loving you, Glenn. They're loving... Uh, Glenn, you are single, aren't you? Uh, yeah. He's dating right now. I think so. He's dating. What do you mean you think you're single? How do you... Th I think I am. Is somebody fooling with your man, Glenn? Oh, women will do that. Women will do that. <laughs> I hate that. Why do they do it? Just get rid of them, Glenn, Glenn. <laughs> you don't need someone who fools with your mind. Not at our age, Glenn. We ain't got time for it. There's breeding to get on with. Now, <laughs> if you want children, you might not. You're good with children. You're very good with children. Oh, one child. He is good. He hasn't got any children. They're not his. Now, you have got here 2,153 findings. <gasps> Back in stock, the hard head pins. I love those. Look at that. Look how many I've got. Absolutely crazy amount of heart head pins. Loads and loads of jump rings and they are... Are they open, Dion? They're saw cut open. What sizes are my jump rings, Dion? One, two, three, four. There's so much on there though, wait there. <laughs> Seven, six, five mil. Two lots of five mil. Two, four, six. So I've got 800. 800 jump rings. I've got the bolt rings and clasps. I've got my eye pins. I've got loads of quint beads. I've got uber skinny head pins. I've got chain. I've got absolutely loads. In totales. I haven't got the whole ring, um, the whole rings. I haven't got the whole list. No, because I've got things in my hand that aren't on the list, so there. Right, 50 bolt ring clasps. 985, what a random number, of crimp beads. You have got 118 findings pack. Your eye pins, 100 of. Jump rings of a 7 mil nature, 200 of. A 5 mil nature, 200 of. Uh, no, 400 of. And then 6 mil, another 200 of. So you've got everything you need to get yourself jewellery making. A metre of chain. All your, now, Debbie, you cannot be ever be seen to 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 run out of findings because you can't create no it's awful when you get halfway through a, a design or creation and you've run out of something and it just completely deflates you you just stop mid sort of creating and, and i think with that sort of bundle you can buy that and it's not so it ever goes out of, out of um sell by date you can keep that and use that for the next two or three years if you're not going to make that much jewelry but how lovely to stock up on something like that and know that you've got everything possible, especially if you teach. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you talk, what a fantastic bundle that you know exactly you've got everything you need for the next few months. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. If you're going to be making lots of pieces over Christmas, do you, do you ever get the thing where you're, you tune in and somebody inspires you? You mm -hmm. think, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And then, ah. Uh, and you can split it up as no presents, findings. can't you? You can yeah. look for things and think, right, I'm going to put, give so much and put them into a nice box or a nice bag and make, make different gifts up for people that love jewellery making. I think it's a really nice idea. Definitely. You don't want to be caught. If you get that wonderful idea in your head, that light bulb moment, you think, I've got to make it now, I've got to make it now, and then gone. No findings. 
deflated, like you said earlier, yeah. can't make it, forget it, you get angry then, you think, oh, and then you start eating chocolate, oh, it's a downhill <laughs> spiral. YNG C56, 2,153 pieces in total. You've got the value of 42 pounds and 55 pence. That's your should be paying. Oh, Glenn's getting rather close. But today you are paying, so what's that 20 pounds saving? 17 pounds and 60 pence saving at 24 pounds and 95 pence. You are getting a super duper deal for loads and loads and loads of things. The Uber findings pack. <gasps> oh wow. If you were to go to a certain shop that we all know and you try and buy individual packets of those things, the quantity, you probably have to buy two or three packets of most of those to get that quantity. You'd pay four times the amount of money. At least. You know when you go into that craft store, you buy a packet of 20 jump rings. That's right. On the nose, about 5 95 mm. Drives you crazy. I know. And look at this. They are right. real silver on copper. You've got a huge stash of 2,153 pieces. Better than half price for you today. And 19.95. You know when you walk into a clothes shop and everything's half price, we're all over that. These, these are better. You can make, you can create, you can get creative. Look at all of you buying these. Absolutely super popular. You get so much for your money. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. They're all e-coated as well. So they're all hypoallergenic. And that also prevents the silver from tarnishing. It's wonderful, isn't it? £19.95. and pence. The code that you need is YNGC56. Don't forget to give us a text. Let us know what you're up to this weekend. Give us your Hindu ideas. Do you think Dion is going to be a bad influence on me? I think we would be, if we ever went to school together, we'd be the two that they would say, don't put them in the same class. <laughs> Don't put those two in the same class. That would happen because individually they're great. Yeah, I think the jump rings are open. Let me just have a look. I did say that. Yeah, I asked. I asked. I bet she didn't answer. Yeah, there you go. They're open. I gave them a little open and there they go. Yes, my little dears. They're open. 1995. 12 chances. Please be quick to sell out we're in single figures and they're going to be easier for anyone's just starting out so much easier they're coming up for you in the next kit you're going to love them new jump rings those findings unfortunately have gone and sold out i said that i keep going a little bit like twangy sold air didn't i <laughs> out I could, come on gloucestershire roots come back to me there you go my lover there we are purple can't wait to pack them away. I didn't jumble them up so that it made your life easier. Is that a little complaint I hear? What are you doing? Oh, Cassie didn't want it to be me because I no, make a mess. I love you, but... Not the mess that no, comes with not me. the mess that comes with it. But why does everyone say that about me? You're so messy. Do I? Thank you. I am not messy. <laughs> Deborah. Please, Missy. can every... Not you, Deborah, a different right. one. Sorry, Deborah. <laughs> Please, can everyone send positive thought for Laura doing a driving test today? Wait there, I'll be with her. Is that Laura Binding? Is it? Ah, oh. ah. Oh. I think of you, Laura. I'm sending a psychic message. <laughs> It's a little bit like Obi-Wan Kenobi does. Luke, use the force. These are not the droids you're looking. No, hang on. You can do it, Laura. You can do it. Go on, Laura. She shouldn't have told anyone, because that's the pressure. I passed my second time. Did you pass first time? No, I didn't pass first time. No, and it, it is pressure, actually, because everyone's waiting, aren't they? You think, oh, have you passed? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I'm going to tell my kids not to tell anyone when they yeah. do theirs. The best track, well, I passed second time. First time I took someone's wing mirror off, so that was an instant <laughs> fail. <laughs> but do you know why? Oh, do you know why I did it? They took me to this really dodgy estate in Cheltenham, and I was scared. 
I could, all these people were driving probably illegally through the streets <laughs> and I thought, oh, please don't hit someone because they'll kill you. And I was scared. So I, hit, I took someone's wing mirror off. And then I tried to carry on driving because I was so scared. And, my, and I forgot about the dual control. And he was like, mm mm mm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> They're going to kill me. Now, <laughs> I'm going to. Well, has, has anyone else got any funny stories from their driving tests off the back of Laura Binding? Anybody? Your mum. No! Ollie's mum's friend got told, when you get to the island, just drive straight over. Uh, and she drove straight over the island. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, you uh, know, if you tell a kid something, they do it exactly yeah. to what you see. You've got to be more specific. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing that? But you got dual control. Oh no, you probably didn't have dual control in those days, did you? See the examiner's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. I love stuff like that. It really gets, as long as everyone was all right. That really tickles me, that. <laughs> oh, I can't top that. I love it when people do silly things. Dion's friend took eight attempts at an automatic test. She should not be on the road, Dion. <laughs> Have you got your driving license, no, Glenn? No, you haven't. Bike. Bike. I remember. Do you remember when I came into work and um, Paul had got a new car and I screamed <laughs> straight into it in my truck. Luckily, my truck was white, so was his car. So I didn't mention it for a while. Have a look. He was quite dear. all right about that, actually. Just went, don't ever park next to me again, Cleary. <laughs> There's a few swear words I've cut out of that, but... Oh, did I tell you? I have told you about what I did, haven't I, on the height restriction sign. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> this is the best driving I've ever done. Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Now, we'll talk about the Moonstone first, and then I'm going to tell you about the craziest... In fact, this could have been the craziest day I ever had. Now, look at these. Beautiful. I'm just look at that. Look at that. I was going to say labradorescence. Look at that iridescence. Look at that there. These in a ring. Waterfall cascade. And look at that with the grey. Together, those are just perfect. I love Moonstone. And, and these are going to go really well in tiaras and fascinators. Then you've got the sunstone there. Then, you know what? Tiaras, fascinators, very, very bridal. These are going to go great in waterfall cascades. And I think Moonstone and Sunstone, if I can speak on everyone's behalf, is one of our favourites. We love it, oh, don't stunning. we? stunning. It is. It's beautiful. It's so elegant. And I think that would look lovely in the, the ring design that we had on the Wall of Fame. Yes. With the prong set ring. That would look yes. stunning. Really With the gorgeous beautiful. photography that we saw. Mm, really yeah, they, are, they do lend themselves drops like that. And I think when I first saw them, I didn't think that you could do, do that with yeah. them. And you can. Mm, beautiful. And there are so many things that you can do with a drop. Think about using one of these as a pendant. Think about using these as clusters. Think about using these in, in earrings. Loads and loads and loads and loads of them in earrings. Now, because you've got that incredible hue, that glow, that inner glow that just travels around, I think these will all go really well together. I'm just going to take my whiteboard away so that you can see the colour. What about beaded kumahimo? Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. LVG C16, Catherine Anonymous in Kent, Leslie in Lancashire, Beryl, Sandy, Leslie, Diane. All three for seven. Now, now these are genuine gemstones. Six. <laughs> You're crazy. Six 
95. But Dion, if you walked the store and said, hi, I'd like three strands of Moonstone, first of all, they'd be like, oh, we'll have to order it in. Uh, and, and then I'd like it for 6 95 They'd look at you like you'd gone mad. It would be like walking into a coffee shop and asking for a roast chicken. Six ninety five. Six ninety five. It's absolute lunacy. I love it. <laughs> it is real moonstone, isn't it, Dion? It is, she said. Six ninety five. Would you have believed that years ago, Debbie? Gosh, no. When I first started here, uh, that the prices were double, triple the price, really, just for one strand, weren't they? We're getting more and, and more now, in, so we're getting better and better value. Know, in the, the black and white days of jewellery making, we were still giving you great value, but this is this is just out of this world. The buying um, kudos we have now at jewellery maker, just we're able to pass it on, and I think it's lovely that that Steve does actually. Because some people wouldn't. I think it's fabulous. Some people wouldn't. You're right. Yeah. You're, you some, are right. Some people would not pass it on to the customers. But we're so lucky. Let's take yeah. it now what, before it ends. Because yeah. it might. <laughs> it might do. No, I don't think it will. No, I, I think it's fabulous. Really, really beautiful, that is. Six ninety-five. Have all good things got to come to an end? I don't know. I'll tell you that story later. Because first... <laughs> You need this kit. It is the nicest kit I have seen this year so far. Now I'm going to show you a strand I've never seen and forgive me if you've seen it before but I never have. Are these brand new? The Silver Druzy. They are remarkable. Look at this. Yes, you need it. Oh, yes, you do. Oh! Now, you know that this kit also has those jump rings. How many do I have, Dion? 131 kits is not enough. Yesterday, I had the moulding compound. Loads of it sold out in two minutes. You've got, I haven't got wire here. Oh, yeah, I have. I've got bare wire, yeah? Bare copper. Isn't that lush? Now you know you're getting those jump rings and I am going to show them to you in a minute. They're exclusive. Then you're getting white druzy. Debbie, this is the best kit ever. Isn't it beautiful? It's lovely. Oh. Oh, you have not got square wire. I've been waiting for square wire in my designer inspiration show. You're such a rascal. There's only so far you can push me, Dion. Do you know how long I've been waiting for square wire? Do you know how long? You need this kit, full stop, capital letter. <laughs> and the findings are new. Where's the square wire? I haven't got the square wire. And the square wire jump rings, I think they mean. Ah, oh, I'll let you off. I will let you off. Now Gemma Crow says that we shouldn't call this raw copper, we should call it bare copper. Nice. Raw copper is when it comes directly from the ground before it gets worked into anything. You are guessing your silver wire. How long is this silver wire, Dion? Is it 10 metres, I think? But what's the gauge? I haven't got it. Oh, no, I have. Sorry. 10 metres of soft copper wire, and it's 0 0.4. It feels more gaugey than a 0 0.4 somehow. You see how I've... So you've got 10 metres. I love that bare copper. I love it. Now, are you ready for the hot stuff? You have got a hundred of the silver square cut jump rings. These are square saw cut jump rings and they are 11.5 millimetres in the silver. The same 
but 7.4 millimeters and then 13.2 those are the big ones that I want because I've just started sort of dabbling in chain mail so I need the bigger ones then you're gonna get the black in 13.2 then you're gonna get the black in 7.4 now don't forget these are packets of 100 so you've got loads 600 in total and 11.5 in the black so these jump rings are totally different because they are square and they are large square in the fact that they're made out of square the square wire obviously they're round but they're square as well that's that's one of those when is something round but also square it's one of those isn't it are they easy to open well they're the same as um aluminium so you will need your tools to open them won't you and they're lovely and sturdy were you very excited when you got these home oh i love them absolutely love them yes i love the sparkle they're gorgeous you've also got the new findings mm -hmm. now i've never seen that triangular toggle clasp before have you debbie no i haven't i love it then you're getting the detailed toggle clasp and you get as well as your normal you get teardrop head pins as an extra these are our new findings pack for october and i love them i think they're fantastic this whole kit remember that sparkly druzy is that brand new that sparkly druzy so i've never seen the silver one i love it it's the silver druzy The sparkle that oh, you get. beautiful. From that, I've never seen this. I love it. I love it. Over half the stock has already gone for this kit. GRG C03 is your item code. I love that. This is called Night on the Tiles. <laughs> 29 for all of this. You've got, don't forget, you've got the uh, bare copper wire in silver. You've got a meter of the chain that is open link, like a big oval links. Gorgeous. You've got all of those brand new jump rings. If you want the new jump rings, it's the first way of getting them. We don't have any more in today's show. This is the only way you can get them. Absolutely fantastic. We've only got them in kits today. 29 pounds and 95 pence, 48 chances remaining. We had over 100 of this kit. Over half of the stock has gone. You're going to have to be quick. GRG C02 is your item code. You can use your debit card or your credit card to come shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. Let's go on over to that gorgeous Debbie Bolford. Have a look at exactly what you've done. I, I love, love this. this kit. Oh, I loved it. And I've never seen that oh. druzy before. I think it's just that flash of silver. Oh. And because it's matte, it just shows it up so beautifully. It's I think you have to have that druzy. Oh, because oh, it's, it's quite unlike any other strand yeah, we've got. Absolutely, just it's gorgeous. stunning. Just gorgeous. Have a look. I mean, you've got a great sparkle coming from that druzy. There's some lovely sparkles on the earrings, actually. If you look on the earrings right at the end, <gasps> there, oh, they're some gorgeous. Quite a nice sparkle oh, on, the, on yeah. some of those. Look at those. The way they sparkle. Look at that. Oh, really I sparkle. love this. What a lovely kit, says Joanne and Kate Ness. I want to use it with the Labradorite. <gasps> mm, beautiful. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Lovely. Labradorite on the bottom of your screen. We've, we're very few of those left now. Mm. Uh, look at all the jewellery you've made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. Now, I love how you've used this in the bracelet, Lynn, or a feminine piece. I They're really fabulous like spacers. That. They really are fabulous spacers. People who don't like chainmail think, oh, I don't, don't want to use it as chainmail. You don't have to. You can just use it together as just a linked necklace if you want to, or use them as spacers. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Mm. Look at this. Just wonderful. I'm going to take that off there. Mm. It's silver one side and black the other. So it's reversible? Yes. Let me show you. So Debbie's made this reversible. It's got mainly silver on one side, on that side, I think. And then if you flip it over, it's then got the black links. So you've got the black links on one side and silver on the other. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Una says, I have got my kit, but I'm gobsmacked at the price for the amount you get. Congrats, Jen. Love the ring. Good to have you back. Thank you. Debbie, your pieces are ace. Oh, thank you. We don't use the word ace enough, I've decided. <laughs> Well, I've got loads of jump rings left over, so you can make far more, actually, than I actually made in this kit. 
There are quite a few jump rings left over. I cannot get over. And then look at the long necklace. I cannot get over. And this one. Gosh, how many pieces you've managed to make. And I absolutely am totally stealing those earrings. <laughs> Just. Oh, fun, we're in the teens. They? Look. Oh, can I steal those? Yes, I'm sure you can. Thank you. Can I steal? Yes, you can. You heard it here first. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? You can do some really funky designs with these. You really can because they fit inside each other. So you can do lots of different weaves, especially if you've got a lot of wires. Look really good. What are you going to show us how to do, Debbie? Um, I'm going to show you how to do the front of the necklace here, that little flower, which is also the same as on the bracelet. So just to show you how to do that little, little weave. Is it hard? No, <laughs> ever so easy. Ever are so you easy. sure? Yeah, really, really simple. Very, okay. very simple. Right. First of all, you need a large and a small um, of the jump rings. Actually, I did medium, I think, on my, on my bracelet and my, my um, necklace there, but to show you, so it's easier to show you with the larger rings. So you need one silver and one black, because I make my, made mine to be black one side and silver the other. So you first have seven, oh, have I got seven or eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there we go. And there's your large ring with your eight small rings. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. Whoops, now this is a very large ring, so there's quite a lot of movement on here. If I put this second ring all the way through, and you don't have to do this, but I quite all like of the them. through all the eight rings, and I quite like doing this because I say you can use it as a reversible necklace if you wish. Now, if I hold that up, you'll see what I mean. You've got the silver one side and the black the other. Okay, so you've got your two different colours. Now if I put this back on, on my tile, if I can, put this back down here, and you separate those out and you put your petals on, which are going to be around every ring. I'm not going to, going to close them because it will take me a while. So you just put a ring through every single one, like so, and go round and round until you have eight on the outside. Now, once you've got your eight on the outside, I then put um, a second colour on. Can you, this is what I mean, you put the second colour. So you've now got your rings on the outside, and I've put black and silver. So you can, again, you can reverse it. Black one side, silver the other. And then to make sure they sit flat, I've put a ring through those rings. So if I can just pinch that necklace and put it down on this tile, you can see what I mean other way up. So here you have your centre ring, you've got eight rings going around the outside, you've got a ring through each of those eight, and then I've linked them together with the silver. You see that? If I tip it yeah. over, you might you see it better. You put the ring through each of the eight, and then you link those rings afterwards. That's right, so there's right. the centre yeah. ring, probably better because that's silver. There's the centre ring, you put eight rings onto those centre rings, mm -hmm. and then through those eight rings you put rings all the way on the, around the outside like little flower petals and then you link them together with a further That's ring. That's easier than, than I thought actually. Yeah. Mother Nature I know just things in odd numbers and the reason I've done this with eight is that you've got an even amount either side so then I put two rings through the top two, two rings through the bottom and then you can start to build your necklace because then it, it looks even when it's hanging. Yes, all right? yes. You could have seven if you, that was going to be your main pendant at the bottom, but I wanted to put something on the bottom of it, so I wanted four one side and four the other. And with these rings, it's quite nice to actually sit and plan beforehand, place the rings out on your um, table or wherever you happen to make them, and actually plan your design, because it's quite easy to plan with these, and then you can see if they're going to fit or not. Yeah. It's awful to get halfway through and think, oh, do you know, I can't get all these rings around and start all over again. So try and plan them and place them around the rings, and then you'll be able to get as many as you can onto your necklace. People are asking about the inner and outer dimensions. I did have it in front of me, but Dion's taken it away. Well done, Do you I know? I think I've got them written on the packets. It's your fault, Dion. The I've kit's sold out, though. I'm so sorry. I've got the um, original packets here Is that I have them the in. Um, you've got three different sizes. So you've got um, 7.4 internal diameter. You've got um, 11.5 and 13.2 so I would probably say that seven and a half eleven and a half and thirteen okay inside diameter okay inside diameter inside diameter okay brilliant thank All you right. now it's waffle clock <laughs>
I love this. We did this on a DI the other day and it's fantastic. Number 484. It's from Louise in Essex. And Louise says, following Laura's DI show last week for Craft Show Makes, I decided I need to make a business card holder for myself. And here is the result. I think um, Michelle did it as well, didn't she? I used a large agate slice bead and a cabochon set in the set into one millimeter copper wire. And using the excess wire, I plaited one length for the bottom support and then went freeform with the rest. I had initially wanted to do some weaving, but the wire had other ideas, and I ended up with a couple of flowers and hearts and loops. And I hope you like it, love it. Uh, many thanks to Laura for the inspiration. Good luck to all in the draw. Hope it's my turn to win. And that's from Louise and Essence. Louise, I think this is such a wonderful business card holder. You could do name cards. It's brilliant, isn't it? That as well, couldn't you? What a good idea. Yeah, gorgeous. Well done, One Laura. of those labradrites would go really nice. Oh, it would. Well. Oh, yes, mm. very nice. This is number 482. This is from Alana in Inverness. Uh, hi all at JM. This is week's photo is a teal pearls and silver spaces from a matrix box all from JM. Where else? Best wishes from Alana. That is lovely. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I love Very the nice. little photo as yeah, well. Yeah, isn't it lovely? Really, really dinky. Photo. That's lovely. Now I have got for you number 485. Have a look at this. It is from Valerie in Wiltshire and Valerie says, here is my latest polymer project based on a gold pendant I own. So you've replicated a pendant. It's a bit Egyp oh, it's Egyptian. Oh, it's Egyptian. Eye, isn't it? <gasps> oh, wonderful. This is all polymer and the faux jewels have the glitter Debbie B introduced a few weeks back. I hope you like it. We love it, Valerie. Well done. You're number 485. Yes, it's an, yeah, it's an Egyptian eye. It is. This is number uh, 483. Somebody's been very busy here. Uh, this is from uh, Linda. Enclosing my Wall of Fame entry, which consists of pearls, amethyst, blue quartz, and black tourmaline. I really love making bracelets for friends, family, and of course myself. Love your very friendly show and find it a big uh, find it a big tonic to watch most days. Good luck to everyone in the raffle. Aww. Love from Linda. That is lovely, Linda. From very Bonner lovely Regis. handwriting. Hasn't she? Well, yeah. Handwriting is dreadful. That's it's lovely. Nice Neat. to see handwriting, it is, isn't actually. it? That's lovely. Cheers. Oh, Let's not that. lose handwriting. Nice. These are gorgeous. You know what we were saying about interchangeable? We mm. could do some ideas yes, like this, could. couldn't we? Yeah, you could. Because these actually could be interchangeable. Yep. Uh, number 486, we all love a pair of earrings. It's from Kathy Smith who says, Here is my entry to the jewellery wharf, to the wall of fame. I have made these earrings and I'm very pleased as I have arthritis in both hands and I've made these earrings with your gold-plated findings even though I'm allergic to the gold. To gold. Oh, so what? And you weren't allergic to these because they were e-coated. E oh, wow. Wonderful, Cathy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it is amazing what you can achieve, isn't it? Number four, eight, six. Gorgeous. Now, we're talking of gorgeous. We have got some beautiful black onyx mm. coming up for you after the break. It's very sparkly, very Christmas, very evening glam. And it's very much coming up for you after this. guest designer Debbie Bulford for this exciting Polymer Clay Accessories DVD. Debbie will guide you through a variety of projects including pen tops, charms, badges, buttons and how to create the animal print look. This DVD is ideal for all levels and great to have some fun with the kids. To get your hands on a copy contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewellery Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewellery making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewellery Maker.
I love chips and nuggets. Ever since I first joined the company nearly three years ago, I've been absolutely hooked. What I love are the varying sizes, the varying shapes, the varying colors, and most of the gemstones that we carry in our stock have some sort of chips and nuggets, right from what I call the tiny little microchips, right through to the nuggets, right through to the big ice cube boulders. There's just such an array of sizes and shapes and they lend themselves so well to macrame, to wire wrapping, to rosary link, all sorts of techniques to use. And you can make the simple, delicate little bracelet right through to the enormously heavy, chunky bib style necklace. I just adore them. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker is your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our mission is to provide you with the best quality products. Value for money and excellent customer service. Come and learn with us. Tune in every day from 9am to 9pm. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Look at this gorgeous black onyx. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. You have got the most amazing luster. You can't quite see the luster on that um, shot that we just showed you, but look. Look at those drops. They are cut like crystal chandeliers. Oh, these are so elegant. Now, these are elongated drops. Can you imagine these in earrings? You know, I went, um, I went to see my auntie last night. She's got this massive Audrey Hepburn um, picture and all these amazing long drops that she used to wear in her earrings and pearls and diamonds, but drops, lots of drops, all very elegant, all very classy. And I think this absolutely boasts elegance and class. I think it's absolutely oozing with sophistication, isn't it? You almost want to just drop an olive in a martini. Is it in a martini? Is that why they have them in? Mm. Amazing, beautiful, elegant. Elegant for making flowers, aren't they? Look at the sparkle that you get. Debbie, when you get a, a really long drop like that, you should really get, you should grab as many of these as you can, because we normally see little plump drops, not the long, very elegant drops. No, but like you're wearing, you've just got one stone, just one, that's all you need. And I think it's the same with that. You could just do one beautiful stone and just to put a little cone of wire around the top with a stunning chain. You don't need anything else, do you really? No. You really don't. Beautiful. And the same in earrings. Yeah. Because they're so striking. Now, you can make a really gem heavy oh. piece with this. You can go all in. Absolutely. You can put it all in and you can really go elaborate. You could do some gorgeous crochet in a choker and these could be your drop. We're that, getting you back could almost into cluster that. it like, like icicles, you know, cluster it at the front, and then the, the light would really, really catch the beautiful inkiness of that stone. It's gorgeous. It's got undeniable grace, yes, this strand. Beautiful. And I love that. It is definitely, again, a take. Very strictly come dancing, isn't it? And I think, you know, let's not lose that 
elegance, that grace, and I think actually we're getting it back a bit. That femininity, the dresses, the jewelry, the bling, the sparkle. Let's bring back that Hollywood glam. I think we lost it for a bit in the last sort of five years, didn't we? And now it's coming back again. Think about Marilyn Monroe in Some Like It Hot. Think about Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, they were so wonderfully gorgeous, feminine and glamorous, weren't they? They looked like they smelt amazing. You know, they just did. I love that whole era. And I want, I'm so glad we're bringing it back. And we are, we've got these sort of Strictly shows now and we are becoming to celebrate again um, that wonderful, wonderful glamour that we sort of lost. And I also think, I do think that, you know, the way things went with the whole feminine, I don't want to get all politic, I don't want to get political on you, but we kind of lost a bit of the glamour there. We did. I am all for a chap opening a door for me, I've got to say. I mean, I'm not going to push anything on anyone. BJR U74, 140 carats of gorgeous black onyx for £14.95. pence. Incredibly beautiful. And we always say this, don't we? I think it's the most known of the black gemstones other than a black diamond is an onyx. Don't forget we've got black diamonds coming up for you today and they are drop dead gorgeous. 14.95. You have got so many drops to the strand. It is gorgeous black onyx. Helen Jane, jewelry maker in Anti Hebrides, Carol, jewelry maker, maker, not Mater, in Greater Manchester. <laughs> That's from that cartoon my son watches. Mater. Uh, Catherine in South Yorkshire, Stephanie, jewelry Mater. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, Jane in beds. She's in beds again. Uh, BJR U74, gorgeous black onyx. What colour would you put with these? I don't think it matters. I think you could put anything, anything in terms of precious metal colour. Anything. These would go very well, actually, with Debbie's necklace that we forgot to take over there during the uh, kit, by the way. If you bought... Oh, that would go beautifully, look. Oh! Wow, that's stunning, isn't it? Mmm. Fantastic, 14 pounds, 95 pence. Don't forget to give us a text. Now I was gonna tell you that story earlier. This is what I did. This is my worst driving moment. So I was doing a trade show and I was on my own. I was driving a van. And now when I say a van, it was a big van. And uh, you know, like man in a white van van. It was a big one, so not one of the little ones. And I was driving and I, um, I'd finished setting up my stand and then I went to go to my hotel and I went down into a dip. It was the Hilton Hotel in uh, London and you go underground to get into the car park. I forgot I was driving a van and I drove into the car park straight through the restriction sign and took the whole of the top of the van off <laughs> like someone had can opened it. And then something really bad happened. Really bad happened, Sheridan. I let the sprinklers off in the Hilton Hotel because of where I was. Every sprinkler, everyone had to go outside on the street. It was terrible. It was terrible. And um, they had to let down my tyres to bring me out again. <laughs> then I had to drive all the way home, which I didn't realise was illegal. How lovely. How lovely. Linda of Suffolk says, can I have some? What flavour was it? Jamaican soup. What kind of soup do Jamaicans make? Sniff it. Linda says, oh, on my first test, I was told to turn right, signalled right and turn left. Instant fail. Love in the show, Jenny. <gasps> well, you're lucky that nobody went into you and decided to undertake you. Don't worry, that's a... You are, are you allowed to... Yeah, but she wasn't mishearing because she put... Right, you're allowed to mishear. Are you? Oh, can you say you weren't clear enough? Oh, right, okay, you're allowed to mishear, apparently. Joanne says, when I took my test, I was stopped at the traffic lights next to an alley and the dog ran out of the alley and headbutted the... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did a dog do that? I love it. Ashlyn says, I know someone that knocks their 
driving test examiner over. Needless to say, she failed. I think she might have done it by accident, not on purpose. She probably reversed into him. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it is funny, isn't it, what we do? Can I just show you the diamonds? Look at these. They're gonna be yours real soon, real soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna give to you. Now, do you remember the early bird this morning? You're gonna give these to Debbie if she if you kill. Now. Debbie's made some earring finder, so she's going to show you how to work these. Hello, Ben. Ben's joined Hello. us, everyone. Ben's about to start making a music video, and his band got picked as Song of the, song of the week. week for BBC Introducing. Yeah. He's going to be famous. You saw him here first, everyone. You can download your album now, can't you? Yeah, you can pre-order it. Pre-order it. Byron Hare for £10, I think. Because yeah. I'm going to. Really? Yeah, of course Thank I you. am. Of course I am. I'm telling everyone. We're so proud of you. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. It might make me cry the first day he's on something like, never mind the buzzcocks. <laughs> we know he's going to be there. Now, will you remember us, Ben, on yeah. your way to fame? I'll come and play. Good. Thank you. Now, I want to show you these gorgeous pieces. Have a look because these are the ones we were talking about earlier. Oh, they're rascals, mind. They've got one drill hole in. Oh, Debbie Bulford has made something gorgeous. You've encapsulated them in wire. Genius. Now, Debbie has popped two of the turquoise inside the wire. Those are for you, Dion. All right, I've already stolen earrings today. <laughs> Now, you can make stud earrings out of these, and you can do that really easily, and I've done it, I promise you. All you've got to do, right, you can do two, one or two things. You can either use the hole and get a, um, maybe cut the head off a, a head pin, cut the ball off a head pin, pop some glue, but you've got to get the glue with the nozzle in there. Then hold the piece, I think probably about a centimetre long, and then you just pop a butterfly back in it. You could also use the head, the flat head pins, maybe it's the triangle or something like that, put the glue on them and glue them directly onto the back, so not using the hole. But you are gonna make those classic stud earrings perfect, absolutely perfect. Now, these are the pearls that you would buy as a jeweler that makes their own jewelry up you know in house they would be like this you've got the buttons and the drill hole might work if I put them in their colors in their matching colors I'm missing a navy blue one oh there it is there we go there's my navy right there so you have got the opportunity to make one, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings. Debbie, how are they to work with? They're lovely, and I have had them in a kit before, actually. They're, they are really beautiful. Um, I just haven't got um, the really, really strong glue to be able to, to put the, uh, the head pin in. But they, they do work just as little studs. They really do. They, they, they are beautiful size. They're not too big. They're just perfect size. They're the perfect pearl button earrings, mm. aren't they? Oh, they are. They're gorgeous and lovely for cufflinks as well. Or gorgeous tie for pins cufflinks. Or something. I, I just think they're such an heirloom. I will be wearing on the big day my grand's pearl studs. My mm. auntie um, let me go and have a look in my grand's jewelry box, and I got to pick. The, and I picked pearls, Aww. obviously. And I uh, can't wait. I can't wait to wear them and her necklace and a brooch. Well, if the men wear cravats, sometimes they have a stud, don't they? That they put just yes, a stud yes. on. And that looks lovely with a pearl. Just yeah, a pin. single pearl. They're great for that. Yeah. They're called, yeah, the hunting pin they're called, That's aren't it. they? Yeah. yeah. And if you want to make a hunting pin, you can. A hat pin, you can. Just perfect for that. 
Now, you've got a lot of freshwater pearls here. These are genuine pearls. Again, let me tell you, they're seamless. They have no rings on them. They look so expensive. They really do look so expensive. Now, they're 7.5 millimetres in diameter, all save for the teal, which are a little bit bigger. They're half a millimetre bigger. Those are 8 mil. RTG, C40 is your item code. £14.95 is your supposed to be price tag. You have got five pairs of gorgeous pearl earrings here for £11.95. Incredible value, beautiful pearls. Get yourself on the dog and bone 0800 644 or the w.jewelrymaker.com if you're shopping on what they call the old online. You do get a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker. And if this is the first time you've ever bought with us, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is fantastic. Where else do you get a 30-day money-back guarantee? Where? Look at all the gorgeous colours and have a think that you can have. You can have a pair of earrings for every weekday, couldn't you? Monday to Friday earrings. Susie, Jenny, Inez, you've got yours. Gail, uh, Angela, Mary, Margaret, uh, Dorothy, Judith, Joan, you've got yours. Rupwanti and Carol, you've got yours. Esther, you've got yours. Mary and Jackie, Charity in Florida. Uh, Deborah, Debbie, you've got yours. Anne, I don't know why I couldn't just say Florida like a normal person then. Florida, <laughs> let's go skating. Uh, Jeanette, everyone in Florida obviously goes um, roller skating every day, don't they? They all are perfect. They've all got perfect teeth and perfect little bottoms. RTG, <laughs> see, they have, haven't they? Can you imagine that? I think if we roller skated more, we would have better bottoms. Do you think so? Yeah, I think we should try it. I'd love to just roller skate everywhere. Do you remember the days of roller skating everywhere? Oh, I could, my balance isn't very good. I could never do that. Couldn't you? I no. loved it. You had the stoppers at the front, Debbie. Yeah, I usually went over the top. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have my pigtails and my roller skates and always a little rah-rah skirt on and mud on my face. <laughs> There'd always be mud and because I'd always be like climbing trees. I was a total tomboy. Usually chewing gum because I was obsessed with Marmalade Atkinson. Do you remember her? No. She used to chew gum. Have a look. And she used to be able to blow massive, massive bubbles. Oh, I do. I do, yeah, I do. Yeah, She used to have red hair yep, yep, and freckles. Yep, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah, she was great. I wanted to be her. <laughs> <laughs> her or Jimmy Cranky? RTG, <laughs> C4C. These could be little buttons on a christening cardi, a matinee jacket or something. That would be pretty. Lovely. Oh, that would be lovely. Paula says, ice skating is great for bottoms. Thanks, Paula. Ice skating? We haven't got an ice skating rink near us. There's not many ice skating no, rinks. No, there aren't. Yeah, but that's not near me, is it, Ryan? I live miles away. I live in Hertfordshire. Oh, there might be an ice skating rink near me. I don't know. Is there an ice skating rink in Hertfordshire, anyone? Alex, Jen, settler family argument. <laughs> Are pigtails plaits or bunches? Well, now, pigtails, oh, they can be either, actually. For me, I was talking, bunches, really, are just the two, and then, and then you could plait them, and then would, they would be pigtails. Is a piggy tail one? You're saying it's pigtails two, is it? Pigtails two, I think, isn't it? Pigtails. Yeah, I think it, pigtails or bunches. Look, Ben, can you do an example? These are pigtails. Piggy tails. Because they would be curly, wouldn't they? That's why we called them pigtails. I think. Alex, I hope that um, you didn't <laughs> lose that argument. If you did, just come back to me and I'll retract what I've said. Because <laughs> the woman is always right. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have things like that, like family. We have every day. What's your latest family? What's your latest? Family clash, what did she say? Thanks, I've lost. No, I meant it means they're plats. I'm sorry, I got it the wrong way around, Alex, sorry. Never ask a question you don't want to know the answer to. That's what the solicitors say. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, isn't it? You don't want to know the answer to it, don't ask. Oh, if only I knew that every day before I opened my mouth, no. 
Mm. Now, yesterday, we had a polymer clay show on the designer inspiration, and I didn't have this colour collection, so we're going to give it you today. Swellegant we had as well. Did you? Oh, I, I love that. for ages. Oh, I love it. Debbie, because uh, you were the founder of Swellegant here. I was. I was. Yep. I did mention that, Debbie. Don't you worry. <laughs> got you back. Now, let me show you. You have got the white translucent, which is brilliant. It's going to A, make your colours go further, and it's going to give it, it won't make them translucent, um, but it will give them almost like a waxy luster. Yep. So it gives it a lovely glow, like a candle. Then yes. you're going to get your green translucent. Now, th the next one is my favourite of all the colours because it's the exact colour of Kermit the Frog and it sparkles. Hello, Piggy. It's not easy. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. Rubber Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. It's true. I love that song. I love it. <laughs> Wonderful. And other. Do you know that song, Dion? You should sing it to your son every time he's in the actual bar. That and wrap you up in a big towel and send you on your way. And that's why I sing it every time to my. Not Mia now, because she's like, get away from me, I'm in the shower, get out. But Max, <laughs> I can still do it too. Out! No. <laughs> You have got your Spanish olive. Hola. Oh, I love olives. Oh, I love this bundle. Then you've got your wasabi. Wasabi. And that goes great. Don't put that on your sushi. <laughs> you've got your turquoise. What a great collection of colours. Now, there's that denim blue. There's that denim blue. Don't forget, you don't just get these colours because you can mix them and make them into new colours as well. So you've actually got so many different colours here. Pearly peacocks. That's what that one's called. Peacock pearl. Fantasmic, all these colours. Now, if you were to go and visit that shop, beginning with W, that sells the newspapers and the magazines and books and things, you know where I mean. You can probably now get a drink in there. Um, well, if you went there, they'd be, at the very least, £2.50 a block, Debbie. Yep, that's right. Which means you've got 5, 10, 15, £20 high street value. If you're on the high street, these would be £20. They're £2.50 in that wonderful stationers. So this is a £20 bundle if you're shopping there. Or you could shop with us. And why would you do that? Because of this price tag. 9.95 for all of these 20 pounds high street value incredible price tag and I love the code hug C42 hug C42 let's have a hug and get some gorgeous colors Debbie talk to anybody out there who's never seen polymer clay before what does it do Polymer clay is a non-toxic craft material that can make anything from um, jewellery, animals, um, card toppers, anything for your card, make, uh, card making or scrapbook making. Um, and it can just be such a, a new hobby for children that doesn't cost a, the earth, basically. Yeah. You can mix the colours, you can make beautiful flowers, you can make pen tops for kids, you can make your Christmas decorations, you can do all sorts of things with it. In fact, can I, while I'm here, Liz and I went on Poly Days weekend last weekend and say hello to Alison who organised it and to all the lovely people that we met there including Irene and Chrissy and Sylvia and all that lot um, because they were all wonderful friends and thank you learnt a huge amount. Did you share a hotel room with Liz? No I didn't, no she was in a different hotel there were enough of us in the hotel in Travelodge we just oh, took the place over. Other hotel chains are available wine. such as yes. Premier Inn yes, and sorry. Uh, Hilton. Yes, we drank, we drank and drive wine on the second night. <laughs> I would love... It was good fun. Was um, it great fun? It was brilliant. I learned so much. Is there any so gossip? Much. No. Does Liz go mad on wine? No. No, she's lovely. She wasn't with us, actually. She was in a different place with some friends of hers. So. But well, it was so they lovely. went and drank wine elsewhere. They did. They that did. was so that you couldn't see what a crazy yeah, probably, chick she was. Probably. But we had some fabulous time. And, and really, with that amount of clay, I can't tell you how many things you could make. Lovely for Miller Fury, because you've got the beautiful little blue bells and things you can use. The, the greens for all the lovely colours of leaves and lovely. 
great for things that are ornamental, such yes. as making. And all you do is bake it for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, now, you can use a halogen oven, you can use an arger, you can use a gas or an electric oven. Just don't use your microwave. I've just remembered, I've been told. Uh, can I just mention that on Monday I have a polymer clay basics workshop? And on Tuesday, I have a polymer clay um, collars and bangles workshop, and I have got a couple of spaces. So Next if interest, yeah. Monday. Yeah, a bit soon, I know, but just to let you know. Oh, come in. That would be lovely. And bring cheese, will you? Because I'll be here that day. <laughs> now, at 9 95 superb value. So much you can do. Imagine making a centrepiece for a table and actually making the candle... The, the base of the candle. Amazing! Yeah. Amazing! You can do some lovely candle holders actually because it is baked being next to the clay, it's not going to be a light or what have you. Um, just be careful not to varnish something you're going to put near a flame. Yeah, don't put that near a naked flame. No, 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 no. Or put that around, a, actually put it around the glass. You can get some little glass holders for tea lights and things, can't you, which look really pretty. Look perfect Cover around those. them. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And it works really well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do some wedding pieces with polymer clay name plates because I found a mould. Oh, have you yes. bought yesterday's moulding comp? You need more clay. Uh, Janice says, hello everyone. I just looked it up on Google and apparently a pigtail is a tightly woven braid, therefore a plait. You won the argument. Yes! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well Alex done. was right. Well you were done. right, Alex, you were. If Google says it's true, then it must be the law. Mustn't yep. it? Now, um, do be quick with those if you want them. Loads of you have got yours. I love polymer clay, and the kids love it. They love it. it and it is such a creative thing to do with children. Yeah. It's not on the computers or what have you. But then they, they can still go on the computers and actually look for designs. Tell them to go and research something and say, how do you make this, or what colours would you put into that, and then they can come and make it. My daughter's banned from the uh, internet this week. Oh, dear. What's she done, Summing? Oh, she'd forgotten her PE kit, and I always tell her the night before, because she was too busy on blinking Instagram, and then she woke me up at five o'clock in the morning, can't find my PE kit. I told her to do it. Anyway, it's boring. She just is. Right. She started telling her, I was like, sorry, it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> okay, the pigtail theory was right. Uh, I, I disagree. Oh, this has opened up a whole can of worms, Alex. You lot from Stroud. Uh, pigtails are little curly things on top at the side, like Jenny had been showing, like Ben had displayed. Well, from the country where we have pigs, a pig's tail is curly. I didn't plait it. We don't plait the pig's tails. Mary, hi all. I think pigtails are, are plaits. Bunches are just hair. Ponytail, single bunch at back. Oh no, this is a worm can. <laughs> Jane in Greater London. Hi, Jenny. Pigtails are plaits. In Britain, the plaits on the, on the barrister's wigs are called pigtails. Oh. In, oh, right. But in the States, bunches are commonly known as pigtails. Oh, if barristers call them pigtails, oh, they're wearing wigs. Then they've got to be right. Aren't they always <laughs> right? These people in wigs. I'm going to make myself going to wear a wig. <laughs> Don't they look important wearing those wigs? Now, Alex is back. Look what you've done, Alex. Yes, yes, yes. Doing victory dance now. Move away from the window, people looking worried. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's a normal thing in Stroud. Hey, if Jilly Cooper goes past, tell her I say hello. That's where you live, Alex, isn't it? I think it is. Now, I'm going to give you... Sterling silver jump rings. Now, Debbie Bowford, there is a time and a place for a sterling silver jump ring, isn't there? Oh, there is indeed. There is indeed. They're beautiful. Well, they're closed jump rings. Tell me where I would... Are they closed? No, they're open! Oh, I tell you something. I'll tell you what. That is, um... I don't know why, but these saw cuts are done so finely they're actually quite hard to spot. I've just opened that so you can see it. Aren't they, aren't they done very well? Oh, they're beautiful. They're rose gold on sterling silver. They're gorgeous. How many are there? You are getting 50 of them. So what can I make out of 50 of these? Well, you could possibly um, 
do a centerpiece to a bracelet, do a really nice box weave or a Byzantine link, depending on the inside diameter of those, and then do gemstones behind. Or you could do a flower or a bead, a nice chainmail bead at the front of a, a necklace and make it quite a feature. Or even just put them onto elastic as that particular bracelet you can buy that has just lots Sweetie and lots of... Bracelet, yes. Yeah. And you can just put that on a bracelet, can't you? And just put that at the front. And how long have they been? Before I worked in, I've been here nearly yep. five years now, which is crazy. I was young when I started. <laughs> I bought Mia one of those before I started, my daughter one of those before I started and it cost £125 yeah. and yeah. it was for her birthday. I wished I'd never bought it every day after I worked here because I <laughs> saw how easy they were to make. TGG P94, you've got 50, now these are 7 millimetres and that's an outer dimension is it Debbie, the 7 millimetres? I would think it's the outer diameter, yes. And if you bought sort of two or three packets of those you've got enough to do a lovely Byzantine bracelet. Mm -hmm. Wow, goodness me, lots of you are on this one already. And because they're solid sterling silver, they're so malleable. You've got that gorgeous rose gold there. Patricia, you've got yours. Caroline, Barbara, you've got yours. Sue, Carol's got three. Rosaline, Patricia, another Patricia this time. They're only seven ninety five for 50 now. Goodness me. That is ridiculous. Ah, oh, it's a great price tag, that is. A brilliant price. Did I go a little bit Irish then? Did a little bit. Ah. Susan's got three, Stella's got... Th now that is... Now, Debbie Bolford, if I'm trying to yes. look for sterling silver jump rings mm -hmm. and I don't have... I, I don't know about jewellery maker, how much would I expect to pay for them? A lot of money, a lot of money. And you probably only buy them at sort of 20, 25 at a time. Fleur is the person to ask who's on after me because she's, she's really into chainmail in a big way. Um, but I'd say 20, 25 at a time and they don't sell them by size, they sell them by grams. So it depends oh. how heavy they are. Oh, I see. Silver. So the larger you go, the more expensive they're yeah, going to be. Yes. Sorry, I dabbed them on a two. I was struggling a bit there. I won't lie to you. Come on, get on there. So oh, these so are yeah. really good value. And if you made a Byzantine bracelet and you had it valued, you're talking about three figures probably because of the time it takes as well. For a sterling silver Byzantine bracelet, I mean, all sterling, sterling silver, you, you can get 80, 90, 100 pounds for them. So Debbie's saying you would get these valued a lot. How much would you yeah. sell them for, though? I think a straight Byzantine bracelet, I would, depending where you sell them, some jewellers will, will sell them, you know, for three figures. Probably if you were doing craft fairs, you wouldn't get that much. But what about if you were at a stately 60, home? 70, you know when you go to castles and they have a big 70 craft 80 pounds on them. 70 to 80 pounds? Yeah, put them in a really nice box. It's your time. It's your, your time. time. Your only other initial outlay is the seven ninety five. Yeah, but you've also got your clasp and then the box, but make the box really special. But I, I, I really want people to look out there how much Byzantine bracelets are. Sterling silver, rose gold, sterling silver, because you will not find them under fifty, sixty pounds, if not twice that amount. Goodness Dep me. Depending on the weight of silver. And these aren't hollow rings, no. are they? Seven ninety five. TGG, P94 is your item code. Please make sure you're checking out your baskets because you could miss out on this. Most people are multi-buying. Michelle in Cornwall is one of them. Uh, so is Carolyn Norfolk, two for you. Diane's got three, Susan's got two. Anonymous in County Durham's got three. I have got my gorgeous Cena buying two. Uh, I've got a jewelry maker in South Yorkshire buying two. Uh, Christine, two for you. I've got Gwyn buying two. Valerie buying three. Sue's buying three. Loads of you. Loads of you after this deal. Isn't it great? It's super value. Really, really super value. Uh, and to know that you've got that 30-day money-back guarantee is just fantastic, isn't it? Just fab. Well done to everybody that's managed to get theirs in their basket. Let's give you your next kit. Girls, have you got the girls are in from the afternoon? Now, Becky, have you got to get... What, who's on today? Sammy Wirebender. Well, Sammy Wirebender Fletcher? I thought Fleur was on this afternoon. No, no, not Fleur. Oh, right. She's flown away. <laughs> 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 Sammy Wirebender Fletcher. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's flown away. I rang you the other day by accident, I think, didn't I? Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't leave a funny message on your answer phone, did I? I was singing Beyonce. <laughs> Not drunk in love again. <laughs> no. Oh dear. I do that a lot, ring people off my phone by accident. <laughs> now, I do all the time. I'm going to give you the next kit, which has got more of those jump rings. The last kit 
sold out. Right, if you missed out on the jump rings or you want different colours, these have got different colours. They've got the brown in them, haven't they? They've got the yeah. antique bronze. You need to be on the phone lines now. How many kits do I have, Dion, my darling angel? Yeah, how many? Oh, we got more of this one. There's 200. Yeah, but how many, how many people missed out on the last one? Over 100 of you missed out on the last kit. You need to get on the phone lines now if you don't want to miss out. It's the only way you can get these bigger jump rings. The only, 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 only way. Now, that was a new dance move. The only, 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 only way. The only, 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 only way. <laughs> now, this is why my kids are... Why aren't my kids crazy? Why aren't they? Like, they're so sensible. Because they looked at me and gone, that isn't what I don't want to be when I'm older. That's what they've done, isn't it? Brilliant. Brilliant parenting technique. Complete lunacy. Now, I'm going to give to you 100 jump rings in this gorgeous antique bronze. Those are 13.2 on the outer diameter. On the inner, because they're thick, they're 10 millimetres. Now, I'm also going to give you 100 of the 11.5. They are inner dimension 8 millimetres, outer dimension 11.5. Then I'm going to give to you the 7.4. You get 100 of these, mind. Mind. Uh, and they are 7.4, outer diameter, inner diameter is a 5. And the same in the gold, the same diameters in the gold. So you're. 600 jump rings. They are the new square wire jump ring saw cut aluminium. You need them if you want to be able to make something as spectacular as this. We've got both kits well done to you. We don't have these jump rings separately. We only have them in these kits. Now, I'm also going to give to you, of course there's more. It's not just the jump rings, my love. You are also guessing two wonderful strands of black agate, super duper sparkly. You are also getting your beading material, but you're also getting those new, very sexy findings. You've got the teardrops in the head pins, as well as the uber skinnies and the ball head pins. You've got that amazing new toggle clasp. I'm a lover of that. And is this Rolo chain? Would you give me your last Rolo? I said Rolo chain the other day and then I had to go out and buy a three pack of those splendid chocolates. Yeah, they come in three packs, not just one. Yeah, they were lush. I forgot. I forgot the delight that was them. Now, you're getting all of this with the brand new jump rings. Don't forget those gorgeous brand new jump rings. And these are all coming to you for an incredible price tag. If you missed out on the last kit or if you've got the last kit and you're just that kind of jewelry maker that's got to have every colour, every diameter, then get yourself on the dog and bone 0800 644 655. You're making a £20 sale today at £24.95. Oh, Zena, you've bought two, my gorgeous Zena. Hey, I reckon this is going to sell out. You've got to be quick. 24. Look how many of you are on the phone so quickly. I love them too, these new jump rings. And the annoying thing will be if they sell out and we can't get them again, won't it? Let's go for a walk. Not too far, mind, because otherwise we'd get in the car, wouldn't we? Now, do you ever do that? 100 <laughs> metres. Oh, I'm getting in the car. Why, does, why do <laughs> men park so far away? I don't know, but they do, don't they? So they annoying. Do. They do. And mine does it because he doesn't want anyone to dint the car. Well, we may as well have walked into town. He parks so far away. Are you feeling better now? What, now I've let that out? Yeah. yeah. No, Good. no, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Why do they snore so loudly? Uh, yes, they And roar. all of the other things. Yeah, and all the other things, yes. <laughs> I love this! Oh, my gosh, Dion says she's still... Dion, that would look incredible on you. It's very sexy. Well, I had so many rings left over from this kit and I thought, I'm not just going to stick them in a box. I'm going no, to put no. them onto there. And if I'd have had a big gizmo coil to put inside it, it would have filled it out so they wouldn't move. Um, 
But I think they're fabulous. I like that they fabulous. move. No, I like that they move. I, I think it. it's. I think it gives it more texture. Mm. Well, I think otherwise it might. It might look more like a gizmo coil. True. Actually, actually, actually true. true. Yes, they do move that. I love that. I think that is absolutely that? wonderful. <laughs> and you've plaited, not pigtailed, but plaited. <laughs> Your beading thread is such a lovely colour. And you've saved on a finding because you've gone straight through there, look. Yeah, that's right. So straight through. Oh, I love this. It's so easy. And these in particular, I think, are even more sparkly than the silver and black. I think there's something about this gold that looks really rich and expensive. It's gorgeous and it's light. So these are different colours in this kit. Love those jumpers only get them in these kits today you've got to be quick if you want them look at this it's like a big beady bead of jump rings amazing oh I love it oh we're so glad she's back <laughs> look at the bracelet that matches sorry I've gone in a right funny order there Glenn <laughs> you've got to keep him on there too. I love the higglediness of that I think it's fantastic that's just all that was left over so I just put it onto a piece of uh, beading thread and through. That works so yeah, well. It does actually. It really does. Yeah, I love it. It really does. And the gemstones are going to go so far. Look how good they look in between. Yeah, spacers, they really are invaluable, I think. They're, they're, they're like little rondelles and they're, they're beautiful because obviously the beads sit so beautifully together. Is that a little tiny? What have you put in there? One of the little crimp beads? Yes. Look. They look really substantial as beads, they do. actually. They do. They do. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. It's got such wonderful uniform. Definitely stealing that. Look at these. Oh, they're gorgeous. Perfect size to fit beads inside. Just they look like they're floating. Size. They do. They're really, really lovely. I do like those. Oh, I love those. Mm. Fit really well, don't they? Oh, I love the whole collection. Look at this. That's like a little fishy. <laughs> those are the two um, uh, earring findings. You know, the two, oh, two earring findings yes. that are in the kit, and I just bent them into... Oh, yeah! Just wired them together and just bent them into a little cross. I do love that. Type. So nice to see something different, isn't it? And then you've got... I didn't show you the end earrings either. Let's bring them over. Look at this. Th you've made loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. This. Oh, they're gorgeous. And then we've got... Look at this bracelet, Dion. And everyone, not just Dion. <laughs> I love this whole kit. I love the jewellery. Please be quick. You have to. We have so many unchecked baskets. I think there's over 50 unchecked baskets at the moment. If you don't check out your basket, you're going to miss out, I think. $24.95. Very popular kit. And you've got the new colours. We've given you silver and black in the last kit. This time you've got the gold and the antique bronze. You just got to have them. You just got to have them. We haven't seen this. You're going to miss out on this kit. There is a queue on the phone lines for this. It is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. It's 0800 644 Please remember that you do get a 30-day money-back guarantee. And that is, you know what? You get it home, you change your mind, you send it back. Right now, you're in danger because somebody is going to get your kit if you've got an unchecked basket. Think about it during the 30-day process. Not now. Now is forgetting so that you know. You don't want to start the weekend off missing out. There's nothing no, worse. No, no, no. No, absolutely not. What what are you going to show us, my darling? I'm going to show you the little beady bead, and I'm going to do it in the um, silver and black because the gold doesn't really show up against this gold um, work surface. Okay. Okay. So Fair the bead. I've done the Byzantine. That's that often that people have seen it that many times. So I did it all in the small rings. So I made it in this size, but so you can see, I'm going to do it in the larger size, which will be a lot easier for you to see. Thank you. So first of all, you take a large ring, and they're all the same size rings, a large ring, and you put six rings onto it, like that. OK, if I pick that up, six rings onto one ring, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. Now, if I place that down onto my mat, I'm going to s separate them out. So I've got one at the top, one at the bottom, and two at the sides. And I'm going to take another ring with four rings on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more rings. Two more rings. I need six rings on there. Six rings. One, two, three, four, five, six rings. And no, sorry, I'm doing that wrong. Can I just recap? Yeah. Just, just, just go back a bit. Four <laughs> rings. I have done it right. I thought I'd done it wrong there. I have done it right. Yeah, you were I thought you were confused because you said six. <laughs> mm. It's me. I'm rubbing you got up six. on you. <laughs> You've got six rings on here. You've got four rings here. I'm going to take two from the side. 
So is that take then make, two, oh, making right, that you makes six? six. That makes that's where six. you've got that's six good. from. Yep. Right, so there's your second one. You've got two on one side, one at the top, one at the bottom, and two at the sides again. Okay, so there's your pattern again. And you do this again, I'm going to repeat it. This time you take your four rings, pick up two at the side to make your third ring. And again, you've got two, two, two on one side, two on the other side, and one at the top and one at the bottom. Okay, like that. You've got one at the top, one at the bottom, and two either side. Now your last ring, you only put two rings on two. And I'm going to put those again through the two rings on the right hand side. And this time, you need to link from one side to the other. You need to make it into a round. You need to have four silver rings in a round. So I'm going to pick that one up and take the centre two off the first ring. I'll have to do some instructions for this. Winter. And you now have the four rings like that, all with their rings uh -huh. on, each one going through six rings. Okay? You've got a black top on, so I know, I know. <laughs> each one going through six rings. Okay. Then to make the flower, you just, Am I restricting you by no, putting this all. bar of a hand? Not at all. To make the flower, you go through the single rings at the top and the single rings at the bottom. And you had one at the top and one at the bottom. It probably won't be as tight with this because it's not going to look the same as the beady bead. And then you put another ring <laughs> through the ones at the bottom. This is lovely doing it with Jenny's hand in front of me. What do you mean? You love my arm. It's because no one can see. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Shall I put one? them in front of your face as Yes, well? please. Why not? One, two, <laughs> Hang on. three. Let's pick up the last one. Not doing and a very good job there of following you, was I? No, you're fine. Can you see? No. No, you probably can't. <laughs> you can't. <I> mean. <laughs> your beady bead now has two rings going through the middle oh, no. and then one at the top and one at the bottom. It's a lot easier to pick up when you do it in small rings, to be honest. Let me hold that one at you the bottom. You could do your start like Fleur does and put some, like a, an earring finding on the end so you know where your start mm. bead is. You could do. I use a paper clip normally. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, um, yes, yeah, so you have, you have your two rings through the middle and then you pick up your single rings at the top, single rings at the bottom. If I can show you the bead, can you pass that necklace down? Of course I can. Let's bring, it. keep it on the bus, shall we? When it's done in the small rings, you can see it's it's a lot tighter. It's a lot tighter. Oh, and yeah, you have so, the double yeah. ring, so it's a lot tighter and it holds itself together. So it goes like a proper little bead. Like a sphere. Yes. So with the big rings, obviously it falls to pieces, but that's that's a beady bead. But I, do you know what I would like to do is to ask as many people as possible, when you get your rings home, let's see how many beads we can get. How many designs can you come up with of single beads in chain mail? Because they're the most difficult to do. Let's see how many people can do beads in them. Do it. Challenge. Do it. What, all different techniques, not just the one that you said? No, you did there. just lots of different beads. See how, how, how many times you can put a jump ring together to make a sphere. To do in, because chain mail's normally a link of a bracelet or a necklace. Yeah. But to make it into a single uh, standalone piece is quite difficult. So let's see what you can come up with. Like the Rubik's Cube challenge. Mm. Now we've got 33 in total left. More than 33 of you have got unchecked baskets. If you all check your baskets out, this kit will be sold out. We've got queues on the phone lines as well. If you don't check your basket out soon, you will miss out on this kit. VJG C56 is your item code. Now, uh, we're gonna give those uh, phone lines and all of you um, a chance don't know why I'm doing that, uh, to <laughs> check out and to, to catch up with everybody in the call centres. And uh, now I think it's just about 20 to off. This is from Lady Deborah. This is number 487. Isn't this fabulous? I hope Frank is watching because that's her sort of thing. Um, this is from um, a Debbie. 
Now, I have had this in mind for a while now and have finally got round to making it. All materials are JM, pink ribbon and gold crochet beading thread necklace, fusion film, oh, fusion film and copper wire wings. Oh. Tim Holtz findings and homemade jump rings with a flattened, flattened Viking weave body and clear quartz and amethyst gemstones from a B tube. My goodness, me, there's a lot involved. I hope you like it. Good luck to all from Debbie in Manchester. That, that is, is absolutely beautiful. Those beautiful. are those cogs, those Tim Holtz yeah, cogs, Yeah, they're gorgeous. They? I love that. That's lovely. A lot of work going into that. Well done. Well done, Lady Horton. Mm. Uh, number 490. Oh, isn't that now, beautiful? Now, this is very similar. Uh, Mark's done a, a, a second DVD to the Chips and Nuggets, so you're going to love this. Uh, Naomi Hutchinson from Sunderland writes, Hi, all. This is my Wall of Fame entry. I made this using a mixture of different gemstones and findings, all from Jewelry Maker. I used Fancy Jasper from one of my very first kit from years ago. Oh, I love that. You kept it for that special project. Also obsidian, hematite, pyrite, and more, and more. Also two different antique bronze findings and your anodized aluminium jumps rings were perfect for this uh, gem heavy piece. Good luck to all this week and keep us laughing from Naomi, who's really seriously called Naomi because that bit's in capitals. Love you, Naomi. <laughs> number four, Naomi. This is number uh, 488. It says, uh, this is from Claire in Burton-on-Trent. Um, Hi, this is my second entry to the Wall of Fame. This is my first proper piece of wire work. All items are from JM. I could really do with the win as I'm addicted to buying lots of pretty little items from you and have promised myself no more for a while, but there are too many tempting items. And good luck for, um, to all the entries from Claire in Burton-on-Trent. It's amazing. Isn't that a beautiful stone? I love, love that. that. Yeah, I love the, I love well the way done. that sits as well. Very good. Now, we did a DI the other day. Look at these. Isn't that they beautiful? are wonderful. Oh my gosh. You should have seen them, Debbie. They were amazing. Have a look. It was Gemma Crow done it like this. Oh, Gorgeous. Amazing. Um, and this is from Jodie in Nottingham. And Jodie writes Hi, everyone at Jewelry Maker. This is my attempt at copying Gemma Crow's bracelet design. I'm going to put it that way in a minute. But actually, it's written the other way. It's Amelia's fault. I watched the Designer Inspiration Show on YouTube to follow the instructions. I'm really pleased with it and get lots of compliments when I'm wearing it. All the guest designers are so inspirational from Jodie. Jodie, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, You've stunning. copied that just to the T. Perfect. Well done. Very, very, very well followed. Very involved. You've done ever so well there. Gosh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, that kit was. I remember Stunning. it, and, and Gemma had done something new that I hadn't seen with that. That bracelet is lush. That's lovely. Mm. Very autumn. Uh, 489. Oh, Isn't I this love lovely? that. Yeah. This is uh, Sharon in Staffordshire. Here's this week's Hall of Fame entry inspired by Alison Tarry's oak leaf brooch. Copper wire and smoky quartz were used for the leaves and acorns with carnelian agate embellishments to make a statement pendant. I also made a rosary chain with sunstone and tiger's eye that can be worn as a um, shorter or longer length chain. I hope it makes the wall of fame. Thanks from Sharon in Staffordshire. Sharon, that is beautiful. That is just autumn. In picture, I love it? autumn. Like gorgeous. All these gorgeous falling leaves. Mm. Now we're going to trot back over in a live fashion. Oh, right. Are we? And um, while we do that, I'm going to show you a gorgeous moonstone stand that we've got coming up for you. If you love moonstone, and we've seen so many beautiful examples of moonstone, haven't we? Then this one is going to be for you. Now these drops. This is brand new, I believe, Dion, isn't it? Um, I want to. I want to show you the fluidity of the iridescence that you get. Now, I would like to call this either a dolphin grey or a silver. I think these are just stunning. I want to show you how incredible the iridescence is from each drop. Look at that absolutely mesmerizing now this is a of moonstone you can see that can't you look at this a moonstone just the very sound oh look at that dark one just the very sound of it it sounds really romantic doesn't it moonstone these are going to go so well look how silver they are when you put them against the skin these are going to go so well do you see that look at the silver mother of the bride Perfect bridal tiaras. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Now you get to the strand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the thing is about this strand is the quality. You can see that straight away. 
It is a Gems of Distinction strand. Look at that. You can see the quality. I'm going to move my arm around to the next one so that you can see it's not just the one that I'm showing you. It's every single gemstone on this strand has the most incredible shiller. Moonstone is June's birth gemstone. It's been set into jewellery since 100 AD. So we've known about this for a while. Now, it's a gemstone that has an association with fertility in Arabian cultures. And these particular drops, I think, suit being in a necklace like I'm wearing just one drop. I think you can really make a, a, all 10 go a long way. And this is that strand, beautiful silvery moon. Okay, RU79, so how much do we pay for such an incredibly beautiful strand, a strand of outstanding quality? Well, Dion says this is going under £10, which I find absolutely bananas. Get yourself on the phone lines. One PMP all day, don't forget. So if you've already ordered with us today, and I have got those black diamonds, the black diamonds are going to go beautifully with this, under £10. All yours for just £9, and that's £7.95. <laughs> She was supposed to do 9.95. Okay, R U79 is your item code. Beautiful. This is crazy, Debbie. Oh, that's just silly, isn't it? Just that is a ridiculous price, Dion. Gone mad. She's completely mad. Dion, you've gone too far now. <laughs> you stayed out too late. Oh, they're beautiful. They're just so. Dion's elegant. feeling very rebellious today. Is she? She's very. Oh, um, she is very rebellious today. She's, she's very much getting her own way about things today, this lady. Uh, we've got a text message come through. And it says, let me adjust my face. <laughs> Lovely lady, says Sue. Oh. She must mean us. Or I think you. She must. No, you. Us. No, you, definitely. You've kept me entertained whilst awaiting news of the birth of my second grandchild. Gethin arrived. Safely, seven pounds, ten ounces, night of the shop. Yes! Yes! It's his birthday today. Oh, congratulations. Hang on a minute. Where are we? October. Is he a Libra baby or is he a Leo oh, baby? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not very no, good with them. No, he's not Leo. He's Libra, is he? No, my mum's 21st and she's Libran. Librans are lovely. But never order a Chinese with a Libran. They take <laughs> at least four hours to decide what they want. Every time. <laughs> What star sign are you, Glenn? Leo. Oh, I live with one of them. When's your birthday? August 7th. August the 7th. August is for Leos, everybody. Beware. Like your own way, don't you? Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Uh, £7.95. pence. How wonderful. Welcome to the world, gorgeous Gethin. Well done to you, Grandma. Grandma or Nana? Will you be Grandma or Nana? Or Gran? Nana, Nana, I think. I don't Nana. like gra Granny, I don't know. Don't it like makes that. you look sound too old, doesn't it? Does. It? it Nana. does. I like Nana. Well, I like yeah. Grandma too. You're going to be Grandma, Dion. What are you going to be, Oliver? Oh, let's not talk about it. You've only just become Dada. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Imagine. Now. I could technically be a Grandma. I was talking to my mum about this last night. If Mia had a baby age 30, I'd still only be 51. So that's fine, isn't it? That's all right. Which means I can just take the child and pretend it's mine. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now. Oh, dear. Have a look. This is coming up very soon. Which box did you want? Oh. Ah. No. She goes to me. No. I'll give you no. Now. <laughs> Have a look. Are these open? Yes, they are. Don't you love it when I answer my own question? <laughs> are they open? Yes, they are. Uh, now, these, rose gold. Now, we've given you some rose gold on sterling silver, but these are a different diameter, are they? Oh, these are copper. You'd never guess. So you've got 200 of these. Debbie, what can I make with 200 jump rings of a diameter of seven millimetres? 
Oh, you could make you make a Byzantine necklace with earrings to uh, a bracelet rather with earrings to match, or you could actually make Ooh. a necklace if you put gemstones with it. It depends oh, how big the gemstones. Yeah, that would put... make a bracelet and earrings. Oh yeah, easily. Yep, that size jump ring. Well, that's g and how much could I sell such a thing for? They are they copper probably thirty forty pounds I suppose for a, for a bracelet. How much are these going to be, Dion? I want to see how. Oh, you think we need to buy them ourselves? I think <laughs> we could do this. We could. This could be a Dell Boy moment for us all. Six ninety-five. So if I bought quite a few of these, I could make a lot of bracelet sets, bracelet and earring sets. Well, if I bought three, I'd probably make sort of five, maybe bracelets, wouldn't I? Yeah. Did I say that deck Gloucestershire? Five. Yeah, it's better than saying five. That's how they say it around us, five. No, it's just the way they talk in Hertfordshire and they say things like, that is bare nice. And I don't know what that means. And also, what is the other thing they say? Um, it's funny because they say things like, oh, bless a lot. And am I all right to? That always comes, like, instead of saying, can I? Or would I be able to? It's, am I all right to do this? Am I all right to make you a cup of tea? Yes, you are. You know, that, that happens a lot in Hertfordshire. I've noticed, you know, when you move, you notice. 6 95 Incredible price tag. PCDL48 is the item code. And loads of you are multi-buying. Sheila of Cornwall will be millionaires. Cathy of Greater London Town, three for you. Uh, Jerry Maker in Hampshire, three for you. This is a great saving. Uh, Janet in Sussex, three for you. Can I mix these jump rings, Debbie, with the new jump rings? Of course you can. Oh, yeah. and I like that answer. Those would look nice with the black ones. They look they lovely work. with the black. They look really nice. What would you do? Just add them on, like, and do a little flowery sort of thing? Yeah, probably use the, the black ones as like a connector. Or just use a single black ring every so often. You could do just a, a two in one chain, couldn't you? Just using the rose gold and the black. Really nice. You'd make Keep a it really beautiful two in one chain. Mm. Really oh, simple. I like that, yes. Six ninety five. There's so much to be done. Now, um, information on the kit, it is limited. If you want it, so the bottom of your screen, it is now flashing red limited, if it could flash red. Six pounds, 95 pence, loads of you there. PCD, that's short for pussycat dolls, isn't it? L48, <laughs> isn't it? Six pounds and 95 pence. That's what Snoop Doggy Dog calls pussycat dolls. Six pounds and 95 pence, a rose gold, seven millimeters. Loads of you are there and loads of you are multi-buying. Sandra, Linda, Caroline, Susan, Tina, Alison, Alex, 47, of Middlesex, Janice, Amy, uh, you've all got to check baskets out, six pounds and 95 pence. They were worried about what I was going to say it was short for. <laughs> I don't know why I worry you so much. <laughs> Are you, do you feel anxious with me? Is it like when people come in the car with me and they feel like they want to, they feel anxious, like they want to grab hold of things? Is that what you're like? Is that why Dion Olive's got like dents in his arm where you're going, I'm anxious. 6 95 is your price tag. Oh, but you're, but you're awake, aren't you, eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> No, I just over grabbed my own arm. No, I just really pinched myself. I like, Ow, my arm hurts. Oh yeah, I pinched myself, that's why. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go and visit that man who controls my brain. Tell him, look, you need to wake up a bit. Because I, I, have you ever seen the film Wally? -E? You know the pilot who's just like in a chair? That's the man in my brain. <laughs> He's just really lazy. Now. I'm going to give to you. Stop saying left when, when you mean right. That's the problem we are all having when we're driving tests. Say the, say the number again. <laughs> God, I was thinking, this isn't right. Dion hasn't had enough blues. Oh, when no. you have blue pearls today. Well, she's fixing that, she says. She is fixing that. Now, these shells 
are fantastic because look how many you get now this is one strand obviously you've got the back of it look how many you get and doesn't that make a beautiful beautiful bracelet the, the reason i love these is because they're flat so if you wanted to do a really elaborate piece maybe it's going to be wire work these will sit beautifully flat against your skin mm. they're going to be gorgeous now i think that these can be very very floral you could make something super floral out of these you have got three strands in total shell debbie is really lightweight as well isn't it very lightweight very very easy to wear i always think it reminds me of holidays anyone who's going on a winter cruise to wear that Ooh, with a tan debbie. i think there's something about that color and even with the color you've got on that lovely orangey red it really goes together it can really um, clash with some colours but then again you put it with silver you put it with black you put it with grey and it looks quite elegant it can be one or two things can't it it can be summer look at me in your face sort of colour or quite subtle I think it's beautiful you it's can pretty. get a real colour pop from these mm, gemstones you can. and I love the fact that you've got that shell that pearlescence on the shell mm. winter cruise is your winter cruise coming up soon Dion because when you booked it, I was like, oh, that's forever away. Now, she's going 6th of December, which is, which is also International Shaler Day. Now, these higgledy-piggledy across each other really well indeed. Putting these in earrings, putting these in bracelets, putting these in necklaces, they do lie beautifully against the skin. I think they are, do you know what as well? They're not drilled right at the very, very tip, which is why they sit like this. And I really like that, Debbie. I like that they're sort of overlapping each, not overlapping each other, but you know, go in the in opposite directions to each other. I think that when they lie together, that, that actually looks really nice. It does look nice. You can do layers as well. Was it, was it one on, uh, was it the Wall of Fame that had three, three layers of necklaces? Yes. You can do three uh, lines of that sort of look, or as you say, bunch them together into petals of flowers. That could look really pretty. Um, you can make bag charms with them, some really pretty flower Ooh, bag charms. Against uh, a black presents. leather handbag. Yeah, look really pretty. I think they're a must-have gemstone if you want that colour pop. Mm. And I think they're going to be great, um, you know, if your Christmas... These would be wonderful around candles as well, with loads of twisted wire. Um, do a tiara twist on them. Yep. Loads of these spraying out would be fantastic, wouldn't they? PLGC01, Carol Gaynor, Andrea, Karen, Jury Maker in Shropshire, Gorgeous Nicola, Janice in Essex. Should be 8 95 and that is phenomenal. You get three strands. Now they're six pounds and ninety-five. What are you doing? What's going on? Dion doesn't know. Phew, I thought it was gonna be like so crazy then. Six ninety-five is your price tag. We thought the graphics were gonna do something crazy. Uh, you should be paying so much. How much are they each then, Dion? You should be paying eleven eighty five. You're making a great saving. Great saving. What are you doing, Dion? Don't forget we got the black diamond up in a minute. OMG. Incredibly beautiful. Gorgeous blues. All for you. And you know what? I think they're seasonless, aren't they? They just are absolutely seasonless. Now coming up after the break. Make sure you check baskets out. Yes, it's a crazy deal. Yes, you only pay one PMP. There's still lots of those available, so do come in. Now, for the jewellery maker, only 30 people, only 30 of you are going to be lucky enough for this. Now, if you've shopped with us for a while, historically you know, strands like this sell out within a minute. It is going to be a considered purchase. I'm not going to pretend it's not but maybe a little bit more affordable than you think. Remember, we don't have many. Remember, you could miss out. Remember, it's one PMP all day. And remember that you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. And then remember how much you love diamonds and think about how little we get to work first-hand with diamonds that you have bought specifically for jewellery making with. This gorgeous strand is coming up for you a little less money than you might think after this.
you're new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques, then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and our museum and a visit to our shop. All of this for just £59.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Start your new hobby today with Jewellery Maker. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she takes you on the fascinating journey of creating face canes using polymer clay. In each chapter, Debbie will guide you through how to create each part of the face. Then, with the final chapter, advance your skills and learn how to add detail and character to your piece. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. Did you know that if you go to jewellerymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you will receive 20% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and jewellery maker tutorials. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Um, I like the fact that it's a really versatile medium um, that you can, you know, you've got no restrictions with it. You can create lots of organic designs, but you can also um, create a really structural designs as well if you want to. Um, you can interact, you can mix it with all of your different techniques. You can mix it with polymer clay, with kumihimo, with macrame, you know, and it's just so versatile. You can just do so much and there's just no limit with it. Have you ever dreamt of buying diamonds first hand, not waiting for that piece of jewellery to break or for somebody to come to you with a piece of jewellery that's been handed down? You're buying this strand to set into original pieces that you have created right from scratch. Right now, we've only got 30. We've seen strands for £170. These are not going to be that expensive. These are going to be the most affordable strand of black diamonds we've ever done. Look how many you get to your strand. Look at the quality. Think about what you're going to get valued. Make sure you check out your basket. We do take credit cards. We do take debit cards. We do give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So quickly secure yours. You don't want to miss out on this gorgeous strand. Black diamonds, April's birth gemstone. Remember again, 30 day money back guarantee. Think then, take action now. So stunning and you get so many. Now I've given you a strand of four, four rounds. The quality of these I've, in the past, and they, I think they're about 169 pounds. They all sold out. These are going to be the most affordable. You are going to get more. And they are gorgeous faceted rondelles. Debbie, it's a dream to make. Look how sparkly they are just there, just lying across my wrist. 
casually lying across my wrist, not put into jewellery yet. They're so sparkly, they're so eye-catching, and they're unmistakably diamonds, Debbie. Oh, they are beautiful. They sparkle like nothing else, don't they? And I just think if you were to buy it now and get a designer to, to put a design together for a beautiful ring and a pendant, you've got enough yes, time between yes. now and Christmas to make something extremely special or have it made for someone as a very special present. Yes. And how, how beautiful. They are just, they're undeniable. Oh, they're gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. They are so sparkly. They're so glamorous. Very high end. Think Marilyn Monroe, think Audrey Hepburn oh, again. Beautiful. This is a classic sparkling gemstone. De Beers did a huge campaign, the love of diamonds. Now, Michelle, guest designer, you've got yours. I can see you on the phone lines. <laughs> I've got a lot of, um, so is Alison. Alison Tarry's got these as well. Alison Tarry. I've also got Michelle in Gloucestershire. I've got Jeannie in Gloucestershire as well. Now, you know that some very wonderful guest designers have just put this in their baskets. Now, if you don't want to miss out, or if you would like to see their designs perhaps out there on, on Facebook and you want to copy them, get this strand. But be quick. NHS Y87. Five carats. Now, hang on a minute. Let's talk about that carat weight. A one carat diamond, a one carat diamond ring can cost so much money, can't it? Half a carat. My, I've got a carat, right? You have got here five carats. Five. Five carats in your diamonds. Half a carat in a diamond is amazing. Quarter of a carat is the national average in an engagement ring. You've got five carats and it's supposed to cost two, two or four months wages. I think we went up to four, didn't we, girls? I think we did. I think the price of diamonds went up. It's definitely four months, Oliver. <laughs> Unbelievable beauty. Outstanding quality. So many of you, so many of you have got this already. We've only got half of the stock has now gone. Five carats, N, H, S, Y, 87. All yours for the lowest price tag we've ever given you in diamonds like this. 119 pounds and 95 pence. The lowest of all the gems of distinction diamond price tags. But by no means are you losing anything on quality. Look at them go only mix them with real silver or real gold. Now just imagine this actually, take three or four of these and set them into a ring. You have got so many, Le oh hang on a minute, I could have a black diamond wedding band. Look how sparkly that is. You could do a band ring, you could. You could set this into your silver clay. You could do a, a band ring and there's enough there if you knew someone's birthstone to do a birthstone but then do like a bezel circle of the black oh. diamonds around it, couldn't you? Yes. Have it set properly. Yes. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Luckily, Debbie, this is my birthstone. It is? It oh. is. I'm an eight ball well, baby. there you go. 13 chances you're going to miss out. Now, let me give you a shout out to the unchecked. There is a two minute wait on the queues on the phone lines. Now, Michelle, guest designer Michelle has got hers. Alison Tarry says, yay, can't wait to pick them up. When are you in, Alison Tarry? I need to see you. We need to talk wedding shoes. Uh, Denise, you <laughs> need to check out your basket. Anonymous in Gloucestershire, check out your basket. Greater Manchester, check out your basket. London, check out your baskets. Margaret in Merseyside, check out your basket. Carolyn in the Channel Isles. Glynis, check out your basket. Now, Michelle has just put another one in her basket. Oh, Michelle, you're having two of these. What are you going to do with it, my love? Make sure you don't miss out. We're down to the last 10 and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 unchecked baskets. How many on the phone lines, Dion? And five on the phone lines. So most of, a lot of you are going to miss out now. 16 of you waiting for this. We've only got 10. You've got to, down, now down to nine. Gwyneth and Gwyned, you've got yours. Kathleen in Essex has checked out her basket. Denise has checked out her basket. You've got to be quick. These are going to sell out. Look 
at that sparkle. For anybody out there who's wondering, shall I, shan't I? What would you say, Debbie? Absolutely, yes. It's a once in a lifetime, especially to get that sort of quality. Um, it, it just sparkles like nothing else, nothing else at all. And it's, it, when you look really close at them, they just mesmerise you. They are so beautiful. And you can tell that these oh, are diamonds. Absolutely, absolutely. You really, They're really can. Gorgeous. We're down to the last eight, and I have way more wow. unchecked baskets than I need. One hundred and nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, Kathy in Greater London, I haven't a clue what I would do with these, <laughs> but I couldn't resist. I'm sure some earrings will be forthcoming. Yes, please, Kathy. Yes, please. Pearls. Anonymous in Surrey has just bought three meaning that we are extremely limited what are you going to do maybe it's a matching set unbelievable we've only got four left anonymous in gloucestershire auntie in west midlands jewelry maker in london michelle you've got another one in your basket but you haven't checked it out margaret in merseyside glimpse in ken if you don't check out you're going to miss out most of you are going to miss out and I've got loads on the phone lines. Two left now. Auntie, well done. You uh, you checked out. I love that you called yourself Auntie. Kirsten, what be, what would you use? I would use solid stone silver every time. Every time. Could you put beading thread through there? Yeah. Well, any be it's, they they haven't got tiny weeny holes actually. The normal beading thread I think would go through these. Aren't they gorgeous? They're just stunning. Two chances remaining 119 pounds and 95 pence right claire kirsten jewelry maker in gloucestershire michelle lorna glynish jewelry maker in greater manchester i've got a jewelry maker in kent and suffolk you have all got unchecked baskets if you don't check out right there are now four people waiting in a queue on the phone lines loads of you are going to miss out only two of you are going to be successful you need to check out your basket right now because otherwise you are going to miss out for absolute sure and only two of you and i've just mentioned so many names only two of you can get this 0800 644 655 if you would like to take vicky and jan comes in from county and durham county and durham no county durham if you check your basket out straight away vicky you'll get this vicky's mum it says vicky and jan brackets vicky's mum you've got to check this out You've come in for it. If you don't check it out, we've only got two left. The price is not going to drop. We've only got two left. So if you're waiting, thinking, well, maybe that it won't, this is the lowest price we can possibly give you. And I don't want you missing out. You're going to get that horrible feeling. 0800 644 655. There are eight people waiting in a queue on the phone lines. Who's going to get it? You've got to just check your basket out. Check your basket out. Use your husband's credit card, maybe, I don't know. No, no, not really. Do not take any financial advice off me. Uh, 119 pounds and 95 pence, right. Okay, looks like you've missed out all your unchecked baskets to those telephone callers. Well, now, well done to the, well done to the phone uh, callers who came in and grabbed those. Now, I'm gonna give to you. What should we do now? Cool, oh, crikey. It was tense, it was tense for a while. Jump rings. Have a look at these. These are open, except some of them look closed. Hang on, maybe this, they're two different sizes. Those ones are open. Nope, they are open. The, I'll tell you what, the saw, the, the closure on these is a wonderful. Saw cut jump rings are really good, aren't they? Yeah. Excellent quality. You can't see at all that they're actually mm. got a join on them. They're fantastic. So, you've got seven millimetre and five millimetre jump rings and you've got 200 of each. What would that inspire you to make, Debbie? Is that the inside or outside diameter or don't you know? Is it inside or outer diameter? Yeah, but what is it, inner or outer? She thinks it's outer, let's see. I'll have a look. I think that is, that's a seven mil outer. Those are outer. Right, so you've got a good size jump ring there to, again, to do Byzantine, to do box weave. 
to do um, uh, helms weave. You can do all sorts of things. If you've got two different sizes, as long as one fits inside the other, you can do a helms weave. Um, but Byzantine is by far the most popular weave that people want to learn. It just looks like a linked necklace you'd see in a jeweler's. And those are a perfect size. They're both a perfect size, actually, for doing that. Can you mix them up in a Byzantine weave, or would you keep it all you one? You can probably do part of it. If people who know Byzantine weave, you can use, if you're on a six ring, ring weave, you can put um, six rings and then fold back, and the two that go through the, the middle, you can use larger rings. And then do another two, then another two, then fold back, and then use larger rings. So you can, you can combine it. I did that actually with the um, gold um, box rings. Oh, right, yeah, the yeah. Two I different know, sizes. Know, yeah, yeah, that looked really lovely as well. Yeah. I love that. Very professional, that look is, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm already seeing multi buyers on the phone lines, Dion, which means she's up to something. <laughs> Jill's got two. Anonymous in Kent's got two. County Down's got two. Vicky, two for you. What's she up to, this girl of ours? Six ninety-five for four hundred jump rings. These are silver on copper. They're e-coated. They're fantastic. You've got to get them if you love that quality. If you love making anything chain maily, but it's not just chain mail because you need these as a, you need these for your findings. They're great for adding charms onto bracelets and things. I mean, they are essentials. They are like your bones of your jewellery making. They aren't are they? absolutely they are, and it's very rare to get really good good quality jump rings because you can buy some jump rings, and you only have to touch them, and they they mark or the coating comes off or they they go out of shape very easily. Whereas those are really good quality actually. The and it's six ninety five. Mm. Just such a perfect yeah. price. And as you said, they've been cut so beautifully. They have. They really they've have. been cut wonderfully. Mm. And I, you know, I said that straight away. I couldn't even tell whether these were open jump rings or closed yeah, jump which rings. Makes That's a how well you had to really get in there to see. Six pounds ninety five pence. You have got a thirty day money back guarantee. Don't forget. Um, I'm sorry, you are coming. Still coming through for the black diamonds, but. They've gone, they've sold out. We've got a different kind of black diamond for you tomorrow's mid-show. I never get diamonds on my mid-show. What's that about? <laughs> that Becky, I tell you what. I tell you what, I don't know what she's doing. She's getting diamonds in her show. Uh, and they're coming tomorrow. At, at 6 .95, the phone lines are pretty hot for these at the moment. because Everyone's got twos. Well done for you, to, to everyone who has got to. It's great to see each and every one of you. What are you up to this weekend? Are you all working all weekend? You, well, Deb isn't. You're not working all weekend, are you? No, I'm not. Are you up no. to anything good or are you just going to relax? No, I'm just going to probably do kits, I would think, for my next show. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'd really like a weekend where I've got absolutely nothing oh, to do. Oh, so would I. So would I, actually. Uh, no, it doesn't happen because when you've got nothing to do, you still sit there and think, now nah, I need to eat, so I've got to make something. Now I'm going to have to clean that up. Someone needs feeding, you know, things like that. Them chickens have escaped again. <laughs> Every time I sit down, someone knocks on my door, chickens have escaped. They haven't escaped, they're just on my garden. They just like it there. They're, they're fine. They won't go anywhere. They're too scared. My cat keeps bringing in baby mice from the field next door. She's got to stop that. So at least go for the adults, not the babies. But she doesn't understand Aww. me. Horrible, isn't it? Three of them she dropped at my feet the other day. Six ninety-five. L E G C zero four. How do you stop them doing that? I don't think you can. They just like it, don't they? Country life, country problems. Hashtag country problems. Now, these are lush. I'm going to tell you a really funny story of what happened to my friend Georgia yesterday. She went to a well-known coffee place and a, a guy who, um, who lives on the streets came in and went, buy us a coffee. And she went, yeah, all right. And he went, and a cake. And she went, no, just a coffee, because I haven't got enough money on me. And, uh, and he went, no, I want a cake as well. <laughs> this is really funny, right? <laughs> He goes on to the till and he's literally ordered a banquet, £40 worth of stuff. She had to pay for it. 
She was going, now stop, stop. You can't have that. I can't. And he just did it, took it away and went, she's... No. My friend Georgia. That's terrible. In Stevenage yesterday. She felt bad. She just thought, I'm going to just pay it. Now, orange crackle quartz. It was funnier how she described it. Orange crackle quartz. It started off with a coffee, then a cake, and it literally, then he had a panini or something. Just went on. Look at these. Aren't they wonderful? Are you excited about firework night? Oliver, you should be quite excited about firework night this year because you have got Shayla, and she'll either love them or absolutely hate them. Now, boys. Boys generally are scared. Girls love them. They're like, ooh, girls are braver, aren't they? Yeah, Max cried till he was about seven. Uh, <laughs> uh, but girls like them. They're like, ooh. Now, these are like little fireworks, aren't they? Just check these out. And what colour as well, like a real peachy orange. Oh, Debbie Bolford, these are your colour. I love them. They're really lovely, aren't they? They're still like glitter balls. They're stunning. They really are stunning. And what, how lovely to have such a pop of colour this time of year, because normally it's all red and green. And it's nice to have something a little bit different. They're beautiful. Aren't they just the right autumnal? And, and these do look like glitter inside. They, they do. really do. They really do. I love these in a Shambhala style bracelet, but just a simple stretchy. Mm. Did I say that too fast? Shambhala style bracelet. I apparently have it. These are Shambhala style It made sense when it came out. <laughs> Oh. Looks nice with your dress, actually. I love that colour. Mm, it's beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Sorry that I've got a necklace on, so I just move that to the side. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they just beautiful? I just think they're so sparkly. Any skin tone, these are. I just thought, Cass, these will look amazing against your skin tone. Can I have your arm, please? I don't mind about the rest of you, but just your arm. Thank you. Look how gorgeous these look. Oh my gosh. Look, if you could just open up your hand so it's less aggressive. Thank you. <laughs> look how gorgeous they are. Aren't they? Look at our tonal differences. <laughs> <laughs> now. Because you've got to think about that. Will they look good on anybody's skin tone? Yeah, that's true, actually. Because, you know, if you've got olive skin, my daughter's got quite olivey skin, and it's funny because I'm so milk bottle, and you forget. Now she looks amazing in reds, amazing. Oh yes, I bet she does. Just, and she's twenty million foot high. Look at these sparkles. Aren't they wonderful? Brand new, very must have. All yours, crackle quartz for 9.95. Now these are 12 mil rounds, so they're going to be really versatile. They're going to work in earrings, they're going to work in, sh in Shambhala style bracelets or macrame. Um, they are going to work in simple stretches, but also I think if you, ha if you had your knotting tool, I actually think these would look really nice on the cord that they're knotted onto at the moment. Don't you think they'd be wonderful, just knotted? They would actually, yeah, they would. And I think they'd be quite nice put onto um, either end of a, a really colourful cord and make them into like bookmarks. Oh yes, you know, just I to put like through, that idea. Just to put yes. through the books, really nice. I'm making Presents. Mia, well, Mia's going through a George Orwell phase at the moment, so we're making her bookmarks and things would be a good idea because she's so into books. So it's into very them. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, Debbie, also, those big jump rings, you know you made yeah. me that amazing chainmail bracelet with two crackle quartz on the end yeah. about four million years ago? Yes. These with the big jump rings. That would look really good. Amazing. If you bought the um, antique bronze and the gold, they oh, would look stunning. outstanding. They would Either look end. Oh, it's perfect. If you've got that kit, you've got to have these. Oh, they'd look gorgeous, wouldn't they? 370 carats in total. DKP 057 is your item code. I am seeing multi buyers on this one. It is a free phone number on, the, and that's so many people are asking for those diamonds. They have gone. They, we missed that. I'm so sorry. 9.95. Look at that. Look at that. Nine pounds, 95 pence. Still a few 
of those available. Now, I'm going to show you. Have we got any of those Labradorites left? Because I really want one of those. How do we have those left? You have to have this strand. It is super beautiful. Look at that. For all of you that missed out, and you believe me, you have to have it. Look, every, every time you move them, oh, oh, the best strand of Labradorite in the whole wide world, 17 pounds, 95 pence. UWYY30 is your item code. If you miss them earlier, then you have to get them. Catherine, uh, you've got yours in County Meath. Denise and Devon. Claire, you've got yours. UWYY30 is your item code. Aren't they mesmerizing? Don't you think? They're so perfect. Texty from Stephanie, who says, hello, Stephanie. Hi, girls, loving the show. It's cheering me up as I have a head cut. Oh, oh, get yourself under some steam, but watch your nose. And um, Jenny, if you put a bell on your cat's collar, it will be hard to put, yes. Now, I agree with you and I bought them this collar, but I'm scared she's gonna choke if I let her go out in a collar. So apparently, you, Debbie, you can get these new collars that just break straight away. I don't know. If they get caught on things. You're not a cat woman. You're no. a dog woman. Yeah. I'm cat and dog. Oh, are you? Yeah. I was originally a dog woman. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> then I had a cat, but it yeah. got eaten by a fox. Aww. Then I, it's all right because that now I've got, but I've always had dogs and cats actually. I like just animals actually. Are these collars that break when they. I think so. It's caught on something. Now, Sammy Wirebender Fletcher's got cats. Collars or not collars? Are you scared of putting a collar on your cat? Uh, I did put collars on my cats, but the one cat kept taking it off. The one cat, yeah, my cat takes it off. Uh, That's Sammy Wirebender Fletcher, amazing shoes. Thank you. <laughs> She'll be coming up to you soon. I've got to move on. But Sam is saying <laughs> collar, yeah? I'm scared I'm she's going to no choke. Collar, no collar. No collar. Take them off and they can get caught on some fences. Yeah, my, it'll happen to my cat, won't it? You know, so that's yeah, why. It's bound to happen to you. Now, Sammy has been known to rear her own cockerels and eat them. Now, I'm going to give to you the bee dreamers, Dion. Dion, the bee dreamers. Now, if you, I don't know why I went really Australian when I talked about bee dreamers then. It just happened. Uh, now, bee dreamers are wonderful for polymer clay, putting a little hole in your pieces. Yeah. Um, be a bee dreamer and a You've got, oh, I love these. Where's some wire? Quick, give me some wire. Hey, I wonder if this works. What do you need? I wonder, I've got the B, I've got the wire rounder. No, I love this, I love it. If you this is perfect. And you know what? We should have put this in a bundle, both of these with the pearls. You know why? Because you'll want to round your wire if you're making your own stud earring holes. These, I know, a finding will do it, won't it? Have some I got findings. One? What do you need to do? Some heads. You know, it's a, like a burra. Yeah, please. Thank yeah. you, Angel Puff. Thank you. I'm going to show you. This is the best thing ever for someone like me who gets excited about things. Now, let's say you made your own earring finding, but that's a bit sharp, a bit too bl no blunt. It's a bit blunt. You don't want to put that in your ear, do you? It's a bit blunt. So I've got the most amazing tool in the whole wide world. This has got little tiny teeth. Little tiny teeth all the way around. I don't know how I'm doing this at Dion. <laughs> little tiny teeth. In case you don't know what teeth are. <laughs> What's the fish that's got like a million sets of teeth? A shark? Piranha. Now, let's have a look at this. Piranha, it's got little piranha teeth. What's the teeth? <laughs> Oh, you literally just do this, right? It's genius, Dion, I'm not even going to lie to you. And it rounds off the end of your wire. Can you see how it's rounding off? You can't really see it, it's hard to show. Can you see it? 
Maybe I'll try with a thicker wire and you can see a bit easier. But it literally rounds it off for you. You're seeing the appeal of this, right, straight away. It's amazing. I love it. So it's less blunt now, so you can put it in your ear. Now, I'm also going to give you... If I got a thicker wire, I could show you a bit easier. It's also going to... We're also going to give you a bee dreamer. Now, this is great for making holes in your polymer clay. It's great for, if you've got pearls, widening the hole. Here she is, Lady Bulford. Is that okay? Debbie McGee, some call her. <laughs> now. Oh, I can see it. OK, so I'm going to show you with a thicker wire, see, for purpose of demonstration. Hey, now I see the pressure of guest designers. Look, I'm just going to get my teeth round that. Like what I did there. That's all you've got to do, just twist. And you see? It's rounding. Yeah? Actually, there is actually a picture on the, on the bottom. And it just makes it less spiky, less sharp, so that you know your pieces aren't going to hurt anyone. Look, you can see how that's wonderfully rounded now. Incredible. Hang on, I'm going to show you because it's, it is a hard thing to demonstrate. There we go. Look, you can see on the back of the packet, it does give you full instruction. And then it will end up like that at the bottom. I mean, it couldn't be much easier than that, could it? Then the reamer. The reamer. Have you ever tried to get a certain gauge of wire through a pearl and just... It's gone through some of the way and then the pearl dust has got caught. And you're like... Mm, mm. Well... Don't force it, just get your reamer, and these are, um, what's it called? They've got a seam on them, seam? What's it called? When like a, a screw, a coil. There, these things, twirlies. Thread. A thread, thank you, That's yes. Uh, I got mine, I've been waiting for both of these. How great they're together. Great price, thank you. What is the price? It was Dion, not me, Alex. Look, you've got both incredible tools. You need them. Seven ninety-five for both. A up. You've just got to get these because you know what? They are going to do so much for your jewelry making. Really affordable. And and you know your bee dreamer. You will use that for so many different things. Did you see how Liz was fishing out a friendly plastic with something like this the other day? You can do that. Uh, you can use it in in so many different ways, Debbie. Can't you? You can. I use it for my chainmail when I want to to lift rings or part rings when I'm doing a chainmail uh, design. It's just like the extra extra hand really to help you and also with polymer clay sometimes you can cut something out but can't quite lift the center disc out and it's nice with something very pointed to oh help you as, lift a, as a little pick yep now there are lots of you loving this deal and i am so glad that you are you are loving this deal because it, this tool in particular i haven't seen for ages i wonder if you can see the teeth glenn it's probably got dust in it from where i've just should i give it a blow wait there do you look at that one <laughs> yeah it has <laughs> So they've got little teeth. Seven ninety-five. Uh, we've only got fifty-five of these left, and loads of you are coming in for this. Alex, you've got yours. Well done, Margaret, Mary, Patricia, Jennifer, Helen, Auntie, Jill, uh, Margaret, Mary. It could be my auntie. I don't know. Uh, Julie. She's just called Auntie. So I'm not going to argue with that. Alfred, you've got yours. Stephen, Brenda, Glenda, Carol, Jean, Vicky and Jan, Hazel, Teresa, Richard, you've got yours. Maggie and Fiona, you've got yours. Fiona's in Gloucestershire. Fiona, yeah, sorry. Fiona. I'm saying it the Irish way, aren't I? Fiona. Sorry, Ollie. Ollie's going, still. Hold it. Still. Sorry. Oh, I'm a fidget fingers, aren't I? Now, I've got... I love this. I'm a big lover of aquamarine, and it's the lover's gemstone, you know. It's your birth sign, isn't it, Ollie? Because you're a March baby. Or you were a March baby. You're not anymore. Now... You were a March baby because you're not a baby anymore. <laughs> I did move the rules. Now, I love this. I love this colour. I love that you've got mixtures of different clarities. I love that it's so mermaidial. I love that it. I love that these are saucers. Not quite rondelles, are they? They're saucers. The glow that you get from them is so pretty. Now, they say 
that aquamarine signifies everlasting love. So, Glenn, once that girl starts messing you around, you can give her some aquamarine. That'll sort her out. It's a gemstone for lovers. It was the original gemstone put into engagement rings. And it's said to remove your fear of travel. So it's almost like the St. Christopher of gemstones. Lots of myth and legend behind aquamarine because it is a gemstone that we've known about for so many years. And it's a gemstone that we've loved for so many years. And why? Because of that cool, gorgeous blue that you're getting. Because you've got the mixtures of clarity next to colour, depth of colour here. And it is a gemstone we see often in the jewellers. It is a gemstone that we are, we expect to go in and see put with diamonds and pearls. And it just looks so beautiful. UIG K50 is your item code. 130 carats in total, 5x2 to 9x4 on a 25 centimetre strand. This is brand new. If you've been waiting for the saucers to put in between a black diamond, perhaps. Have you been waiting for those gemstones to put with your black onyx drops that you bought earlier? I do love black aqua and aquamarine. Black aquamarine, I just said. Black aqua is not a word, Jenny. But what colour metal would you use? Would it be silver? Would it be gold? Would it be rose gold? I don't think it matters. Debbie's rosary link chain that she did earlier, you could make a beautiful rosary link out of this, couldn't oh, you? Oh, stunning. Yes, it's my birthstone. I absolutely love it. It's, it will go with smoky quartz beautifully. <gasps> it does. It will go with uh, labradorite beautifully. Um, it will go with anything, really. I just, I just love the colour. I love the fact it's quite feminine, or even though it's not pink, it's still quite feminine and delicate. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful, isn't it, mm. Debbie? It is. Stunning. UIG K50 is your item code. These are £24.95 and they have absolutely outstanding quality. A Gems of Distinction strand for you. Use your debit card or your credit card to shop with us. Mark Smith, I just filmed this morning his um, new DVD. Hasn't today gone really quickly? Yeah. Really quickly? Because I was like, a minute ago I, t I did a DVD. It wasn't a minute ago, it was like four hours ago. He'll be at home by now with his feet up, organising the cats. UIG K50 said to me this morning, I love how I'm so organised. I was like, all right. I'm, I'm so unorganised. It's un un I really want to have that feeling. I'm so jealous. Like, if I do something, if I remember something, I'm like, feel like a dog wagging its tail. Uh, now, do check out your baskets for those now. I'm going to give to you... Oh, some fine deliciouses. If you missed out on earlier's findings deal, I'm going to give you another one now. They sold out, didn't they, Dion? Right, my little puppies, have a look at these. You have got... Which ones are these, then? They're the square ones in this side and the triangles in the other. So, you are getting two sets, each 115, 115 or 118 in each. 233 together, 115 in one and 118 in the other. Just to really confuse me and my mathsy, non mathsy brain. Now, you are also getting, so you'll get the contrasting findings. Now, I really love that we've done this. So, you've got the square toggle clasps and the square head pins. You've also got the same in the triangle, I'll show you, and you get, you know, literally everything. So here's everything you get. I'm gonna show you the triangular. So do you get a triangle? Let's have a look at the, I haven't seen the toggle clasp in here. Oh, you get a mix of the, oh! You get extra in this one, because you've got flowers and triangles. So there's the triangle. Oh, should I take them out of the packet, Glenn? Showing you a packet. It's not very nice, is it? No. Now, <laughs> the triangles, and then you've got these lovely, again, I put them in the book. What? I didn't learn the first time around. So it doesn't annoy you when people don't learn the first time around. <laughs> then you've got, <laughs> you looked at me like, why? Look, look, you've got the gorgeous, actually, this is a little bit, um, a little bit Victorian, that finding, isn't it? TAGC82 is your item code. It's a double trouble deal. 233 hot findings. Solid sterling silver over copper. So sol uh, sterling silver over copper, even. E-coated and all yours. Absolutely stacks of findings. Two metres of chain, £9.95. Get two. Amazing deal. 
Get two, get three. Just wonderful. Um, because we're having Christmas coming up. You know, you're going to have to make as many giftable items as you can. You're going to never be, don't get caught short with no findings because there is nothing worse, is there? Nine pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. You, they do come with the organza gift bags as well. Lots of you in for this one. You can visit us online or the w's.jurymaker.com. Hey, they've got lovely earring findings. Let me show you those. Aren't these lovely? These shepherdy hooks. Are these new? I haven't seen those. Maybe you've seen them. You've seen those ones, have you? I haven't seen those. I think they're We've seen them, but they're quite new, says Oliver. TAGC82 is your item code. Lots of you coming in for these ones. Now, don't forget, you've got 233. Uh, Sheila's bought two. She would. Debbie, again, you know, we were talking about findings earlier. You've got everything you need here. If you're a new jewellery maker, these are fab. But also, you know what? The importance of findings. It's the difference between being able to make something and not, isn't it? And it's lovely to have something a little bit different because it's the findings that make the jewellery, I think. It's the nice clasps, it's the way that you finish things off with extender chains and lovely hooks and toggle clasps. It can really make or break a design. And if you've got a selection, then you know you've got something that you can work with. It's really important. And, and you know, you're right, because a certain finding might take you down a completely different yep. design route. Yeah, that's right. You've got two different types of chain here. You've got the thicker. That's lovely, isn't it? And then you've got the, well, this, I, I guess it's just a different, different chain design, isn't it? And the, um, then the classic links there as well. Uh, you've got loads of you grabbing this one. I'm so glad for you. Uh, T-A-G-C-82. Now, Cass is going to love me today. I'm going to give to you, which one should we do first? Which, say the numbers again. Oh, on my right. Ooh. Now, those Fat Daddy-O cutters are crazy. Now, these are limited stock. They're not being rude, they're called Fat Daddy-O's. Now, they are wonderful for friendly plastic polymer clay. You saw Anne using them yesterday. Which one's square first? Now, let me tell you, these Fat Daddy-O cutters, you don't know you need them till you've got them. They're phenomenal. They're totally heat proof as well, so they can go in the oven. Now, you could actually bake a cake inside these if you can work out a way for the mixture not to leak and it will come out square like that. You could obviously, you, know, you can, they can go in the oven. Your polymer clay, look how deep these cutters are. Aren't they wonderful? Now, um, before these came to Jewelry Maker, you had to really get them from America. I mean, these kinds of cutters, Debbie. Are just, and by the way, they stay inside each other as well, which is great. These kinds of cutters, have they made their way into your collection yet? Have you got Fat Daddios yet? I bought them to Jewelry Maker, yes. Brilliant! Um, oh, tell me everything then. Well, no, I just, I just um, saw them at the holidays weekend a couple of years ago, and a lady made me, Irene, hello Irene, if you're watching, made me a beautiful um, pendant from them. And I just fell in love with the Fat Daddio cutters, and all the designers this weekend have been using them. It's just. It's just one of those things that you, once you start using, you won't want to use anything else because there's no seam on them. And a lot of the metal cutters, once you've used them two or three times, the seam can become dislodged and you get like a bump in your designs. Whereas these, yes, because they're don't, metal, so they have yeah. to seam. Whereas these are seamless, you do not get that. And the big ones, of course, are perfect for making um, bangles because you can't always get large cutters to make a bangle. Hang round. on, you can make a bangle. Yes. Yeah, yep. of course you can. So yep. you've got a bangle cutter there. Yep. Well, you can bake clay around that as Obviously a bangle. Obviously, I'm not going to wear this as a bangle, Ollie. Ollie's like, really? No, you would cut it out like that, but you can go around these. The thing is, they're not just cutters, mind, because you think about this, you can actually put your polymer clay around this. Now, because they're oven-proof, you, you can bake it like that. So then you take it off and you've got the bangle. Brilliant. Why Fat Daddios? and not just any other cutter. Why a Fat Daddy? Because they are just excellent quality. They'll last you forever and a day. And I love the designs. And I love the, the, the graduation in sizes. Sometimes you only get them to a, a small size, whereas obviously because they're for cookie cutters and one thing or another, they are larger. But a lot of the pendants you get nowadays are really dramatic and really huge. And sometimes you just want the corner, but you don't want to cut the rest of your design. So if you use the large cutter, over the top of your design. You're not disturbing the rest of the design, but you get that nice angle. 
So I think they're lovely. Really useful. They are dishwasher proof, they are yep. oven proof, they yep. are wonderful. They're for baking, they're for polymer clay, and they all pack away neatly. Perfect. $14.95. You know the other half's going, not more tools, and you're going, never mind, dear. These will pack away. You'll never even notice them. LJD023. <laughs> £14.95, it's not often we can give you these uh, in a non-specialised show and we are giving them you because we're naughty. Now, what about this shape? Is it lips? Oh, fan shape. I thought it was lips. Look. They're like those, lips. Those and the square ones go together. Can I, am I naughty if I go oh, show you? Oh, no, Debbie, you're not Just ever. lean across a second. If you use these for your bracelets or your necklaces, right? Yeah. Get the corresponding squares so that's the front of your necklace and then the squares fit at the side <gasps> okay so you can make the center of your necklace and then make your graduating squares going up the side so they will fit together as a necklace so it's good love to, have, to sell those two together that's really good sorry love no <laughs> don't you ever be sorry for telling us something we never knew before that's what days are for learning new things that's why we have a new day isn't it that's a whole point of night time 14.95 DID. Yes, I did. Oh, 31. You need these. These could be lips. They could be. I love this. Aren't they fantastic? 14.95. Incredible. And all different shapes and sizes. Now, we got to run. We got to run. Now, woof. Where? Oh, this way. Oh, crikey. Now, more stud pearls. So have you got your emas and you're like, right, give me more pearls, I need more. I've got some for you, don't worry. Hang on, where are you going? We've got a show to do. Now, let me pick these up. We've got, this has got to be done very quickly, says Dion. Great price tag. She's told me. She, oh, what about a ring? We never even said that. They're perfect for rings. And it's so much better not to see the drill hole through the yeah, other side absolutely. when you're putting them in a ring. Now, you've got the pink. And you've got the burgundy. I love this burgundy colour. Isn't that cool? Oh, oh, I love those. Those for earrings. So all you would need to do is put your post in the back. A little blob of glue, maybe. A bit of uh, jewellery glue. You could do, or you could encapsulate these into something. FKG, you know we're big fans of these, and they are going under £10 for two pairs. So you get four in total. FKG C89, the perfect studs. They're only £6.95. They are fresh water pearls. So they are 100% genuine fresh water pearls with that wonderful pearlescent colouring. Uh, Helen, Janet, Anonymous in Northamptonshire, Liz in Kent, Joan in Essex, you've got yours. Jewelry maker in the Outer Hebrides. Helen in Sussex, Judith in Inverness. Shire. FKG C89. Lots of you grabbing this. Isn't this a fantastic quadruple of gorgeous pearls? Aren't they fabulous? Look at the pinks. Oh, I love them. I mean, how much do you pay for stud earrings like this? The quality is undeniably wonderful. If you walked into a jeweler's, perfect little stud pearls like that, you'd pay about 40 or 50 pounds for those. Oh, you would. Absolutely, you would. And that's being a bit conservative. Mm. Wonderful value. Lots of you there. Make sure you're checking out baskets. We are going to have to power through because we are running out of time quite a lot. We're going to do twisted wire. We've got Sammy Wirebender Fletcher coming up in a minute. Now, which box number? How many is it? Do I, do I get all of these though? What, two, four, five of them? Where's the. Oh, there you are. <laughs> now, hammers brilliantly. We saw, um, not this gauge probably, but we did see gorgeous Caron using twisted wire in a Viking weave technique. Now this is all one mil, one millimeter. Uh, so you've got essentially two lots of one millimeter together. We have filmed the twisted wire DVD, that's in the pipeline. And uh, now you're getting silver. Because it's one millimeter, you can hammer this flat and it looks amazing, it looks so professional. You've got the silver, you've got the gold, You've got the aqua and the dark blue. You have got the antique bronze and the copper. You have got the gold and the silver. And you've got the copper. 
Now that is a lot of twisted wire. Essentially remember that each twisted wire contains in total 20 meters put together twisted into 10 meters. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 meters of twisted wire in a one millimeter thickness or two if you count them both twisted together. Debbie, these make wonderful talk necklaces. We've seen um, oh, they do. so many designers make talk necklaces, but oh, what else can I make? Some of the people like uh, Gemma and, um, and Karen, some of their talk necklaces have been absolutely fabulous. I haven't yet had a go with that and I've tried to actually twist my own wire and you cannot do it neatly like that. Well, you can you do can a little length. A little but length, but then it goes 10 meters all the same, no. No way. See, I, I would probably, because I'm not a wire worker, I'd probably do something really plain like gizmo some of the colours and just make really nice, just, just rows of gizmo necklaces and then put my pendants on. When you, when you make something with a different medium like polymer clay, you actually look all the time for something to put your designs onto. And those aren't, aren't too much of a statement. They don't take away from your pendant, but they just give it, they enhance it. So, I agree. So rather than just putting it onto a piece of cord all the time, your polymer clay pendants, it's nice to put them onto something else, and this is perfect. It's very roped, but that roping look. Now, when you cut it, cut it where it crosses, not mm. where the bow bit is. Um, I hope I, now, that was Sammy's piece that you just saw. Sam is coming up for you in a bit. Paul is saying, make fancy jump rings. Yes, what about jump rings? Because you can make jump rings out of this. Mm -hmm. A chainmail bracelet made out of twisted jump rings. You could do, yes. I, th I can't believe you've never tried it. Have you never had it in a kit? We've no, got to give you some. We've got to give you some. She needs some. Have a look. Oh, dear. Who's is this? Who was that one? That was Janet. It's our Janet. You are getting absolutely loads of twisted wire. One, two, three, four, five, six reels in total. Fancy jump rings. You're not going to believe this price tag. $24.95 for all six. Incredible value. Incredible value. Look, it should be £38. You're getting it for £24.95 today. 0800 644 655 is the number to be calling. Remember, this is the one millimetre thickness, both together making two mil essentially at £24.95. Uh, we will give you the opal in a sec, don't worry, before we go. I know you've asked about it, it is lush. Uh, now, Sammy Wire, Ben Fletcher coming up for you soon. And Twisted Wire, will you be working with Twisted Wire say Samantha? Yes. Yeah. She will be showing you. Yes, she said. Yes. Uh, she will be showing you in between ringing cockerels next. Uh, she did do that. I'm never going to let her forget it. £24.95. She will be showing you how to twist your wires. She's a lovely lady. She lives literally behind my mum. <laughs> she does. I stayed at my mum's. I could have given you a lift in this morning. No. You'd have had to have walked home, though. Now, I'm going to show you this opal. You're going to go crazy for it. You need to get on the phone lines quite soon because we're going to price slash it. Hello. Look at that opalescence. These are good. Gorgeous rondelles. Of course, they're October's birth gemstone. So we are celebrating this gemstone this month. And they're supposed to be lucky. If your birthday is in October, they're supposed to be very lucky for you. Or if you just so happen to have a grandson today, perhaps you want to get him his birth gemstone. Perhaps you want to get some for yourself. This one's for you, brand new granny. <laughs> Should be £34.95. I'm going to even take you to the teeniest, weeniest ones. Oh, they're a colour. £27.95 for you today. B O Y Y43. Gorgeous opals. Now, I'm a lover of opals because they give you. Look, look at that red. You can see that incredible pin fire. The quality is outstanding. Debbie, you've got to have these. Wow. I mean, you've never worked with opal it's before. It's very difficult to show that fire, isn't it, on TV? For, to pick it up like that, that is amazing. I've never seen that before. Not quite that, that clear. That's beautiful. The opalescence is oh, undeniably stunning. striking. And look at the price tag that you're getting. Stunning Ethiopian opal, just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now we are running out of time. We're coming over to you. Can you believe today has gone can't literally where the, the time's beat gone. of the heart? I can't believe where the time's gone oh, today. I can't believe it's October though, can you? No, very true. I can't believe it's apparently Stoptober where we're not supposed to drink alcohol. Did you know that law? You look outraged. Come on. <laughs>
Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm going to pretend it's September for a bit longer. <laughs> now, <laughs> Debbie, yeah. look at your god, they're so chic. Oh, I love. And what? Can, how can you go wrong with black sparkly gems? You can't. You, you can't, can't go wrong. Go wrong with them. Look can at you? these earrings. Look at that stretchy. That's you can't lovely. go wrong with a stretchy, can you? Oh really? no, you can't. That's why I'm stealing it. Now, <laughs> it does go. I mean, it goes with everything, oh, doesn't everything. it? Everything. Absolutely everything. I'm going to recap the bundle. You got the dinner party set, which was three different lovely. sizes of rings. Really Six, lovely. eight, and twelve were they? Mm. Oh, I got that right. Look at me with a memory all of a sudden. Look at that with the beady beads. Great. Oh, I love how you've done it with head pins. I love that. It makes it all the difference. Those it head does. pins it do, does don't the clusters. they? Yeah, the mm. clusters are always popular. They're just gorgeous. really nice. <gasps> this beautiful necklace. Oh, that's good. That would go with what I'm wearing today, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, isn't that You've funny? You've kitted me right oh. out today. Oh, I love the wire wrapping on the bracelet. How gorgeous. It's just such an easy one to do. A very easy challenge today. I love that. And then using the toggle cost as a decorative feature because yes. I think they should be decorative features. Yeah, I features. quite agree. I quite agree. Lovely, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Then have a look at this. Oh, we had to have a tassel. Afraid so. Gorgeous. gorgeous. I, I love those necklaces where you just tie it around your neck. I think it's really nice. She said stop, stopped over was about smoking, not alcohol. That's OK, then. It's all right. No, it's both, I think. Oh, is it? Isn't it? Oh, yeah. right. Did you well, think it was smoking? I, I thought it was both, actually. You think it's both? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's both. I think it's both, We mustn't do any of those. Apparently, donate the money to charity, which I like the idea yes, of. Yes, that's all right. true. OK, fine. Uh, sorry in Hertfordshire. I love that name. Hello! I've been sitting in the front of the TV with you all week poorly and are you able to work Aww. but I bought what I haven't earned and now you've <laughs> and now you've cheered me up thank you so much and wow the WAF entries have been amazing love uh -huh. from sorry sorry thank you get well soon my little darling hey it's all going around Hertfordshire at the moment have you got the Hertfordshire tum uh, Mrs Lee says yes 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 you can get cat collars that break straight away thank you I'm gonna get one if your cat gets caught up mine have the <laughs> problem is you're oh, always buying new ones oh yeah that is a problem mm. uh, thank you so much thank you so much you're Pleasure. amazing when are you back? Uh, next week next week oh you've got your um you've got your monday get get yourself booked into debbie's monday oh, yes. workshop Paul workshop Mon monday we gotta go here at sammy and becky the fastest way to shop with